The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. It's peaceful in here. It is. <laughs> you know what I mean, back to our regularly scheduled program. Yeah. It's a little loud here the other night. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> any any complaints from the neighbors? No. Nice. No, not a one. I was going to say, did you tell them about that ahead of time? No. <laughs> not a one. You got to learn procedure, man. You got to learn shit, nigga. What the fuck they going to do? <laughs> They'll learn you. What fuck they going to do with me? Got money, got broads, got a crew with me. <laughs> Real as banana clips. <laughs> Jazzy Jeff, your nigga ass. Like, we gonna show you how things work around here, so. <coughs> we don't care about none of that. Mm -hmm. oh, please. Mm -hmm. Come in here, your man got some steps in here, like you said. <laughs> that was a lot of fun the other night, but we'll talk about it. We will. Yeah. We will. We will you sick? What, well, you got the sniffles? No, it's allergies. You ran it. Oh, uh, allergies. Oh, that, old, uh, that old excuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck was that? <laughs> Yo, don't do your goofy shit today, man. I'm not playing with you. Oh, We're not playing man. with you today. How's everybody doing, man? So, Feeling great, great, man. Good, sir. Your stomach easy. hurt. Look at you matching your coffee cup, nigga. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and the yeah, socks match the core of the socks. Oh, oh shit. Oh, crazy, my yo. God. <laughs> So, oh that my boy God. fresh man <laughs> that boy fresh <laughs> that boy's fresh <laughs> oh man it's good to see y'all good yeah, to see y'all glad to be back man flip is sure. flip is now it's what the fuck is going on out. oh my bad <laughs> flip is not with us today uh but he is here in spirit he getting his hair put on right Mm. I don't think so. He's gonna have a tough time when he get to that consultation. I let him cook last part, but he don't have nothing up there to pull from nowhere to do nothing. Parks told him where they're gonna get the rest of it from. Facts. He ain't wanna hear it. He ain't wanna hear it. He told him straight up, yo fam, they gonna go get it from somewhere else. No, they not. I got right here. He kept pulling this one that little spot in the back of his head. Time. <laughs> they can take it from your beard. Top of that nigga here is his head. Oh my god. I see why he wanna fix it though. That nigga. <laughs> You got to be a slave to your hat <laughs> when it's like that. You can see you no hats in the club and start sweating. Like, you oh, shit. You can't even go take a piss without a hat on. There's too many mirrors. Sleep with a hat on. Yeah. yeah. Taking a shower like. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> Put it back on real quick. Oh, I wouldn't go to a oh, pool. Oh, man. I wouldn't do shit. Actually, I would Now I see why he don't come out. Now I see why he do skits. Why? You that's on, just bro. like a skit. <laughs> oh man! Nah, we like, not, nah, nah, not, not kicking his back in. Uh, nah, um, yeah, why not? When niggas call out, that's when you kick their back in. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Shout out to our good brother Flip. Yeah, here, 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 yeah. here with us in spirit. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'm gonna start with a clip that hits near and dear to my soul. Okay. Let's see here. There was something like that for me and my wife texting. So, so I would get her text in the language that I like and that she gets the, the text in the language that she likes. For example, she went to get tea yesterday. So she was like, hey, I know I said I'm going to be 20 minutes, but I'm going to be like an hour because here's what happened. I went to Trader Joe's and I wanted to get hibiscus tea, but the hibiscus that they have over there is mixed with turmeric. And I'm allergic to turmeric, so I was like, oh my God, it's so humid. And now I have to walk to Yo. Whole Foods. So I went to Whole this Foods is my girl and I finally found it. It was all the way in the top shelf, but there was a really kind guy who helped me. And then I was in line, long line, but anyway, there was an old lady and she loved my skirt and I was like, do you also do yoga? And then we talked about yoga for like, and I feel like I have a new friend and like, I'm so happy because this is the perfect day to make a new friend and drink some tea. <laughs> and I wish that she could send that text and then the app would just go beep, 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 boop. And then it would get to me and be like, I bought tea. <laughs> We all share the same struggles. And then, uh, and then it would reply, cool. And then it would go on the app, boop, 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 boop. And then it would get to her and be like, hibiscus, a flower. It makes me think that you and I should go to a flower festival. <laughs> 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 so we could, we could walk today, uh, all day, together, and, uh, and be happy, and uh, talk about how much we love each other, and how much we miss each other. And I would love to keep texting. However, my, my battery and my phone is as empty as my heart when I'm not with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Why girls don't know how to head nod? It's weird. Girls are supposed to head nod. 
They're really, the ones that's supposed to head nod. No, it's nah, you it's guys. Be more shoulder and body dudes. Yeah, head nod. we're more oh, like you know couch dancing. About? It's a dude thing to head nod. Yeah, okay. very much so. All right. Yeah. They head nod pretty well. Okay. Not, well, not, you, you not, ice. If you can suck a dick, you can nod a head. <laughs> like okay, that's what are talk- Hold on a second. That's a totally we about different here? motherfucking action. Okay. If know. you are just like head bobbing, then well, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> I'm taking your word. I, yes, I you know. should. You should. I don't just know. take me at my word. All right. Mm-hmm. But it ain't the same mechanic. Huh? <laughs> that's why he couldn't take that word. <laughs> 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 And I don't want to hear the word mechanics. And, yeah, and, and and the head talk. Talk. You want to hear enthusiasm, not mechanics. Oh, man. No, nah, I've been giving her a Yelp review on it. You know, she had good mechanics, oh good form. Oh, my God, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Salt? No. <laughs> Look at you, ready to unleash. I don't want no salt. Ready to unleash it already. Go ahead. He's Get got shit bad off. Yelp reviews nah, to, to pull from. I'm good, brother. What episode is it? 680? 680. Welcome hey. to episode 680. Of the Joe Budden Podcast, I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored. Happy to be here, host Joe Budden, here with a few really amazing people beside me. The amazing, the beautiful, they liked you at Pause Given, Mel. They did. Yeah. <laughs> they like Tipsy Mel. Yeah, Tipsy Mel's yeah, fun. Yeah, t- yeah. They like Tipsy Mel. I saw Merlot Melly on the screen a couple of times. <laughs> I was like... Kind of like I think that it was nickname. Moet Melly though. Moet yeah. Melly. Yeah. But I saw a few Merlot Mellies. Melly. Melly. Mm, that shit was fun. That was a good time too. Mm, good times. I like that. The beautiful Melissa Ford is here. How you feeling? Thank you. I'm feeling great. Happy good. to be here. Good. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm happy that you're here. Yeah, thank you. Ish, what's up? Chilling. All right. Big Ice. <laughs> Big Ice is in the building. I ain't let Ish play with me today. How what's you doing, good? Ice? I'm great, man. I'm great. I'm great. Stomach a little so I did two crunches. So, you know. Two? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two minutes. One, two, not two sets. Like two? Yeah, like two. Oh. Uh, mm. So, so you just—that's just, oh, okay. just like getting up to get the remote. I was like, let me see if I got. Let me see how many I got. Oh shit! Okay. So what you got like a tummy ache or something? Nah, I just she, muscles is tight now. You trying to get some abs? Yeah. Summer bodies are made in the winter. Summer bodies are made in the winter. Flip inspired me, man. When he said he was going to get his hair, I said, all right, now I got to really work on my shit. Get anything done. The, 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 the little pull up challenge. Mm, that's, that's what it was. Yeah. Corby gonna say, yo, I should have how many? I should have today. Ten. Throughout the course of the day, I got ten today. Got gotcha. you. Not wide though. Pause. I'm. I'm. That that shit is some bullshit. I'm doing regular. I got ten. I got. Huh? Missing puzzle piece. Getting you right. I like that. I like Shout that. Shout to my missing puzzle piece. That's right. And mine. Yeah, I'm jacking that. I'm jacking that whole ice wave. It was nice having the, the wives. Wives giving. It was dope. It was really wives giving. Yeah. 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 That's what it was. It was an expensive all- podcast for you. It's kind of funny because they all invited themselves. She put that pressure on you, boy. Yeah, she did. Went right to the Rolex no, store. <laughs> she got him. She got him. She got him. Oh, yeah. She he went, too. She did. Yeah. Not. She went. Yeah, she did. You ain't got a lot of us. We a oh, fam. Yeah. God, yo. We it's like cool. to see it. It was fake. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what? All right, all right. now what? Swag. Now what? Was it one of the expensive fakes or like the Canal Street fakes? Mm. No, it was a good fake. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a good fake. The shit was a little bit of weight to it. Uh, pause giving was fun. Pause guy, I I enjoyed. He's asking I, about something else. What? Oh, I don't know. Oh, the no, it's no, not no. on my. Wrist. I'm going to give me a watch though. I know that. Another one? Yeah. It's well, Christmas. What are you getting this time? Some details time. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Some details time. Timex. A- Apple Watch do that. Look okay. Casio. Yeah, I hate all. I hate all you Apple Watch. You know, you know how I feel about Apple Watch gang. You know, you told me you damn this shit so dope. I might get me one of these shits. Remember that, right? That's true. Oh, okay. Good. I could. I could still. Think that and want to get one. <laughs> I can still think all oh, you niggas that ran out there and did <laughs> three rolling in the sky like a puff vid. I could think that's whack and want one and be cooler. Okay. Or I could just separate myself from you measly crumbs <laughs> and let y'all keep y'all Apple Watch. Yeah, because I'm not going to get real an Apple jeweler. Watch. My mom tried it. What do you want for Christmas? An Apple Watch? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Not oh. at all. Yeah, mom no, you're way that. off. Yeah, way off base. <laughs> <laughs> and still don't know what I want for Christmas. The girlfriends at Pods, Pods Giving was my favorite part of Pods Giving. Uh, they just funny. Girlfriends, mm-hmm. girlfriends, girlfriends are, funny. are great. Girlfriends are funny when they, especially when they come outside mm-hmm. and they get to all link up and yeah, yeah, power yeah, each yeah, other yeah, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hell yeah! Yeah, that shit was fun. Yeah, yeah she missed the time, man. You missed the time. I guess. 
Nah, you did, man. Why'd Good you, food. Why'd you have to miss us again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why food was food great. Food was amazing. Food was, was great. Bang? great. Oh, the entertainment. Shout out to Ian. Shout out to Ian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Market Shout- Mondays. Shout out to Mel. Shout out to Mel. You gotta Merlo shout out Mel. Mel. <laughs> shout out to E. E. Amani. Conquering the Spears. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. For first. <laughs> e texted me the next morning and was like, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. Feet not that bad. Oh, oh, shit. Like, oh okay. <laughs> e, let's get it. Amani, who has a foot phobia, allowed Melissa Ford to do some black box shit. <laughs> they said you like Lady Eloise up there. That was what I was going for. I don't know what that means. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Y'all know who Lady Eloise is. That was what I was going for. That's all Lady Eloise. Marcus, darling. Got it. <laughs> that was exactly what I was going for. Mission yeah, accomplished. Amani and Flip left here with a bag. I should have robbed them, niggas. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. They That's really funny. did. They had yeah. a good Tuesday. Yeah, they had a good, yeah. That's funny. Yo, don't do that, man. <laughs> they ain't shake. No, they didn't, man. No, they didn't. <laughs> then it's fun seeing people get drunk. That's fun. Mm. That's always fun. Yeah. People that can handle their liquor. Yeah. And we, we didn't have any. Angie's other. girl was drunk. Yes. That's a fact. She was pouring them shots up, too. Right. And she was batty, batty shot of clock. I forgot that I kept doing all them tequila shots. Yeah, I don't really I do like, that. Drunk, drunk gay girls are the real. We need a what's the uh, we need a civil suit on them. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> drunk gay girls. Oh, forget it. We, yeah, 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 get out of there. I'm gonna wait for Flip. Get on out of there. No, no, I'm coming back to it. I'm just waiting for Flip. Yeah, I'm yeah. waiting. For Flip. <laughs> Let him say. Drunk gay girls do shit. Drunk gay guys can never do shit like that. Drunk gay girls just run around groping. People. I think I think drunk gay guys do the same shit. Really? Yeah. No, they don't. Nah, not like no, drunk don't. gay girls. No, no way. They was. Uh, I would have to agree with that, with you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Drunk gay yeah. girls act like they got the the strap, the strap in the hallway. They do. <laughs> they <laughs> stay ready and got to get ready. They might. But she's super cool, man. Every everybody that came was cool. Yeah, everybody yeah. That came was cool. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything that was fun. Oh, the uh, Patreon live was fun. That was fun for a second, or YouTube live, whatever we did. Yeah, we did a bunch of different <laughs> shit. Didn't we do both? <laughs> we did both. We did, we both. did yeah. both. Well. Yeah, yeah. We started on YouTube and then went to Patreon, yeah. but then the Patreon was public anyway. So yeah, that shit went wide. It is what it is. Yeah, so everybody fun. was there. But the fans had a blast too. Shout out to everybody that enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people did miss you though, Ish. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. They was asking for. They were you. asking for you a lot in the comments. Where's Ish? Where's, Where's Ish? Where's Ish? Where's Ish? Where's Ish? Where's Ish talking, and his girl? But you looking at me away? And the extra <laughs> entitled like, motherfuckers in there who was like. Why Ish not there with his girl? Because he's not here. And the issues, like, I ain't watching this shit if Ish ain't here. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah the, it issues held, the issues held you down, yo. And we saw when you had to go. We. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so, so you want to tell the people? Because they want to know why you couldn't be with us. I want to know, too. Me, too. I know, but I want them to know. There I wasn't know, no I pork too, here. But I, I could hear this a million times. Yeah, yeah. There was no it, oink. I heard why you weren't here. No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't no. save him. Save he don't want to be saved. saved. I, don't, I don't need saving. So, so why couldn't you join us for Pods Giving? I had a prior engagement. Would you uh, mind telling us what that prior engagement I'm, was? Giving went, back to the youth? You went, had to work? I went to the opera. Excuse me? I went to the opera. Oh. What, what, what was what, showing? What opera was it? What was uh, showing? How classy? The Life of Malcolm X. Okay. We're showing at the Met. How was it? Because <laughs> you know I want to go to that, right? <laughs> yo, yo. Yo. <laughs> Maybe I ain't cultured enough. Yo. Uh, uh, I, I'm not mad at the album. Sure. No, no, not no. at all. Not I'm, not, Malcolm I'm X. not mad at Malcolm X. Sure. <laughs> Together, it seems- that sounds like hell. Oh shit! <laughs> that was cool. It was all right. I'm just saying what it sounds like. That sounds like literal hell. Like, oh shit! This is what I ended up. Uh, I get it now. I'm they, stuck. If they had Jeezy in there, you'd have been there. absolutely oh, okay. the trap opera. Yeah, yeah. you would have been right in there. Yeah, yeah no, I, cool. I'd have been there. What made you want to go see Malcolm X, the Opera Life Story? The Nation. Um, <laughs> actually, my my girl bought the tickets, <clears throat> but. Um, <laughs> it gets funnier. <laughs> oh, 
Christ. Yeah, this is my favorite nigga. That's my nigga. Look, he don't even know. Look, we just look, he's just calling us ignorant in his head. <laughs> For sure. Uncultured. Ice, what Uncultured What's up, fucking Ice? ruffians. Ice, what happened? Ice, Corey said don't do it. I'm asking a different question. What happened? Well then that's the question you have to ask. The no, one. no, I'm not. Damn um it. when she bought the tickets? Uh a couple weeks ago. And then um we actually, she actually had the tickets for Saturday. Mm. Um, she changed it, yeah, because I got an event tomorrow, so oh, yeah, sure. the um, tickets for Tuesday. She didn't change it because she knew Pops Giving was up and was like, "Oh, you think you're gonna be there?" No, we had the tickets for Saturday. Then the only other day that they had free was Tuesday. All right, I'm gonna let, I'm let you live. But did she know that you wanted to, that 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 was something that you wanted to go see? Is that why she nah, bought them? She bought them. Like she surprised you? Yeah, with I ain't this. know nothing about. It. How did you feel about what? I don't, I don't book shit. My girl, for the most part, most of the stuff that I do, trips or whatever, my girl books that shit. Mm -hmm. Ish. All right. You asking me a question, I'm answering but your let question. Me, let me help you. <laughs> Only Mel cares about the seriousness of what you're saying. I, you asking <laughs> you, me how, then I that, care. You're trying I don't to do care. that educated brother shit. Me, Ice, and Parks are here <laughs> to crack on this. <laughs> This is hilarious, but don't try to slow walk the dog with this serious bullshit. You asking me a question? I'm asking, how did you feel when your girl surprised you with Malcolm X opera tickets? I wanted to go. It was something different. I, I like that shit. All right, how many? What was the best how song? How many of us were there? Oh, us, you say as us in, as in black people? Yes. Yeah. It probably was like fifty fifty. It was probably fifty fifty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you get dressed up? I did. I, I, again, I left the pot. Mm -hmm. So I changed clothes a little bit, but not as fresh as I would I wanted to be. How would you normally go to the opera? Tux. Um, I wouldn't have had a tux on, but I would have been. I'd have, I'd have been suited. All right. How, how did the white people react <laughs> at? Get your hand out, out of my, my pocket. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> How did the white people like that that opera, the opera version of that? Plymouth, this sounds like a crock of bullshit <laughs> that only you and you, well, only y'all fake cultured people would show up to Lincoln Center trying to see the opera version of Malcolm X's life. How did they respond to that? That's fake culture? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's uh, a crock of shit. Ish. As opposed to? As opposed to the movie Malcolm X or anything or Malcolm a, X. Even a Malcolm X stage play. A Malcolm a, X figurine. <laughs> Action figures? Hey, <laughs> Malcolm X on Tubi. Malcolm Any, X on ice. Any, anything <laughs> but Malcolm X on ice. <laughs> One of these days. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Bro. Everything sounds better than One Malcolm X. Malcolm X on a Wheaties box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Malcolm shit. X Boulevard. Just go walk the animated series. Yeah. Anything, any, anything sounds better than this crock of shit that you want to come make sound like a romantic evening. Oh, Fuck shit, that. Yeah. <laughs> it was all opera singing. The whole. Yeah. I'm not all of it. But <laughs> probably eighty percent. What was the best song? Was they serving alcohol? Yeah, they had liquor there. You can't really bring the liquor in the Met. But they got like oh, out of it. Yeah, yeah you, you get your ass Oh shit! <laughs> I kind of want to go. Okay, were people sad <laughs> at the exit? I go with you, bro. <laughs> I want to go. I really <laughs> actually wanted to make it a look group this, trip. No, look at no, this, no, doof. No, no, no. <laughs> we, the, we the doofs. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> In, this, In this, case yes, you're bro. not clear, one hundred percent yes is the answer to that. Gotcha. Oh, still like you to, normally cooler. Anytime Mel is like, oh, I, how was it? Then you should be like, no, oh, her oh. eyes ain't closed yet. She's excited. <laughs> but we tore her up Mel, already Mel at Pod's Given. Mel liked oh, Mel man. liked cultural shit. Malcolm X opera, opera is not <laughs> what is cultural it's the about opposite that? Opposite of culture. What is what is cultural about that? Explain to me. Can I it, it's a different I can interpretation. Answer, I can answer you a few ways. But story. you said you don't want serious us out, so keep it moving. Well, no, I want to hear you try explain. My to nigga, me. first of all, it's Malcolm X. So oh, in, God. In black, that, in black culture, he's a fucking icon in black culture. Sure. You, you gonna disagree with you? And white culture. In black culture, primarily. But white culture too. <clears throat> no, they don't give a fuck about it. Now we fuck about it. You just said it was 50-50. I know. It'd be 50-50 at 
hip hop shows. It'd be 50-50 at they a fuck fucking with hip-hop. a Black Panther rally. <laughs> yeah. It'd be 50-50. And they fuck with Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 so go ahead. It's Malcolm X. Um, and then the opera put a different spin on a regular story that we all know about Malcolm X. Because they really, sang it. It really followed the same lines as the movie. Did but, Jasmine Sullivan come out? <sighs> no, nigga. <laughs> Yeah. Eric Benet, let me figure out. Oh, <laughs> let me figure out who need to come <laughs> out to get, me, to get me to come. Did you have the little gl- the glasses, the little binoculars? Three D glasses. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the little shit. That you hold. <laughs> yeah, what the, the fuck? The the I'm 47. I'm not 77. You ass. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Was it all black guy? Yeah. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Most of it. 80. Because you know some some. White people the white the ladies that he was fucking with back in you know what I mean when he got locked up all of that stuff it wasn't all black. Prison guards, but, yeah, white. Up, prison guards. Stuff Yo, like you that. wasn't there, ma. <laughs> <laughs> you like, really putting your feet yeah, in niggas' faces. Don't yeah, try to jump like, on his right, culture wave right, now. Right, you right, right, you right. You right. You went with his you girl. Right. Okay, I'm gonna mute up. <laughs> I still want to know the songs. Sorry, I'm really excited. You know, <laughs> it was the, the dialogue is in <laughs> opera. Oh, so it was a play. Yeah. The di- any opera that you go to, they, right, give us a little they dose. sing the no name. Yeah. Give us a little dose of what it was like. <laughs> Fuck out my face. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out yeah, your yeah. dog. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Damn, man. But nah, By it, any it, means it, necessary. It was cool. It was dope. <laughs> did they do the Plymouth Rock line, though? Please say they did. Oh, my God. You know Please they did. They you know they had to. Leave me alone, yo. They, they did it. They way. did it? Yeah. <laughs> How they did it? Come on, please. Come on. Hey, yo, dog. I'm not your just fucking mules anyway, yo. You yo. missed Pies Giving. I know. Yeah. And on, we please. wasn't there. I'm good. Go see it. Take your girl. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> no. Our girls are... Our girls are... <laughs> <laughs> Our girls are uncultured. Sounds <laughs> <That was> cool. <laughs> I wish my girl would surprise me with that. Hey, I would surprise her <laughs> with the way I throw them shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll meet you there. Oh my Surprise. god, yeah, let's take two different cars. <laughs> oh shit, we got a pod that day. It's crazy. At night, overtime pod. Over, yeah. <laughs> oh, I would have got out of that in a heartbeat. Nigga. Only Itch was excited about that shit. That's why Itch is Itch, though. I, was. He that, I know, that's why you my bed. Oh man. <laughs> Holy shit. Crazy. All right. Oh shit. <laughs> mm, mm. How do you feel I'm about, like before we leave Malcolm X, how do you feel about the role that Newark played? Hey, yo, dog, what's wrong with you today? You all right? All right. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Well, you in Newark. You can find out, right? Nah, no, can't. you can't. <laughs> that's alleged. A lot of people alleged it. <laughs> <laughs> don't mean that. All right. A lot of people said it, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Fuck all right. Listen, where, where, yeah. hey, wherever y'all want to yeah, go. there you go. Well, that was a <laughs> ripping review. Yeah, them, them Newark niggas wasn't doing no opera. Yeah, they was. They were singing them things. Yo, anyway, yo. stop, bro. Let's keep it moving. That's how you got two days removed from the thing. Uh, yo, that's how you going to talk. No, that's your nonsense. <laughs> did, did you and your girl pray while y'all was there for Malcolm? <laughs> no. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> did your girl express remorse? <laughs> she said, my bad. All right, all right. For what? <laughs> <laughs> for what? Okay. <laughs> Order in the pot. Order <laughs> in this pot. Holy shit. Nope. Nope. I ain't the itch don't ever laugh with us. I you know some of this you. shit be funny. No, if it's funny, I laugh. Nigga, this is funny. This is funny. This right. is very no. funny. No, this is funny. <laughs> it's like some unwritten shit in here that's funny. <laughs> and in my story, in my story, she showed remorse. Did they dance? She was sad. Now, a little bit, yeah, they had like a, a ballet piece. Okay. It was like some, it was artistic, so it was like an underlying... Um, something right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Where y'all want to go? Come on, man. Who got abused? Oh, man. oh, oh shit. shit! Come on, <laughs> come on. What happened? I didn't write it on the board. Fuck that. We're not starting with abuse. No, we're not starting with abuse. Wherever y'all want right, to start, well, I'm fine. Um, Holy shit! I got, I got, I got. I'm winding this part of the pod. You, though. I'm gonna listen to this. this is funny. <laughs> I'm going to see that shit. Oh. I promise, I'm gonna go see it. Go ahead. You might like it. Then you'll come in and say what? I'm not going to like it. I'm going in. I'm going to tell you, I'm going in. This is going to be a comedy show. We're going to have a joke. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a comedy show. You going because it's cultural. And it'll be drunk. opera. Duh. You got too much money to be this. Bro, it's, 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 it's cultured and then there's like, like you. Could, it's not wrong with going to the opera. How you know? I'm not. I'm, I'm saying like I would go to the opera. I know. Keep I'm going. not opposed to that. Keep going now. 
I'm not going to see Malcolm X at the opera. Wow. Malcolm X shouldn't be at the opera. Yeah, that's like it's who just said me. Me. <laughs> who the fuck is you, Joe the nigga? Biden. That's not going to see. So, so they could they could put their white greats on the screen. We can't put our black greats on the screen. The screen. Well, 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 well the stage on the stage yeah. rather. Yes. What well, white greats? Uh, most uh, uh, operas be like Italian based, German based shit like that. So why the fuck can't we have our representations at the opera? We can have them on the stage. I don't want to go see a Malcolm X opera. That's just it. I just right, don't. Cool. That's you don't know what you want until you potentially see it. It's food that you might not think you like until you tried it. Don't diss us again for Malcolm X at the opera. <laughs> Give a fuck about the shit he's talking about. I'm sitting here with the hooligans. Hey, oh, I'm going to go hey. get some culture. I'm going to get some other the culture. The fact that he keep going to culture. Oh, we're going to talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Come on. What else, what else we got? What else? We're going to talk about it later. Because <laughs> he pissed me off with that. That culture shit. I'll uh, just be uncultured. That's fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Malcolm X at the opera is still hilarious. I don't, like, like I said, it sounds he uncultured. They ain't in there telling the truth. <laughs> How you know? They in there singing some bullshit. How you know? Because the truth is suppressed. What happened to Newark? <laughs> Yo, allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, what happened? Come on, come Yo, on. What we got? Nigga, what up. we got? What we got? Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, Somebody vacuuming? Yeah. The yeah. fuck? Yeah. It's the the leaf, leaf, blow, long, leaf, blow. leaf blower yeah, dude. Right? He doing that shit on purpose. He know when we record now. <laughs> Facts. He just, he I went out there. He was walking back and forth. I said, need all right, a BB man. gun, yo. Yeah. Tighten him right on. One good one. The metal BB. Them lawn leaf blower niggas be making my ring camera go crazy when I'm not expecting nobody. <laughs> I be ready to kill somebody. I click on the thing, he go. Oh, I pulled a steak out the other day. Oh. Why? Because my packages got stolen. I was home this time. <laughs> <laughs> And you want to laugh at Malcolm? <laughs> you want to laugh at Malcolm? I was, I was kind of posted up yo, like Malcolm yo, in the window. <laughs> <laughs> By all means, yeah. I caught this bitch. Oh, I man. caught her right for handed. Real? For real? You, yeah. caught, caught him? you caught him? Caught her. Stealing? Her. 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 Fucking you women. Lie. Wow. Yeah. Bitches. Yeah, man. She pulled up on the bike. <laughs> she had the leopard skin backpack. Oh, my God. Like the girl from Power of season one with the sneakers. And yeah. The, the pink joint. Yo. You really caught the girl stealing your yeah. shit? Yeah. What'd what you happened? say? Give me my shit. It's my shit. <laughs> Get your raggedy ass off my porch. <laughs> you, know, that, you lying. I swear to God. You ain't about filming it and shit? Like, I, got I didn't think to ass. film it. I didn't think oh, to film it. Yo, man. dog, you came out there with your boxes on? Nah, I, was, I, was, I had my shit on. I had my jacket on. You was ready to go. Yeah. Just in case it was a dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yo, that is so, that's that is so, crazy. That is so bold. To like just keep returning to the scene of the crime to uh, steal uh, more, yep. getting away with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what niggas do. You're supposed to hit a different building. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, this, no, is this, right this is a sweet look for These niggas got good gifts over here, and, and I keep getting away with it. <laughs> These niggas right here at, at two sixty eight. Yeah, they get that good shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Speaking of scams, real quick, because I was a little blown away by this one. Uh, word is that restaurants. I saw this. You would. You would. Restaurants are on the dating apps, right, as people planning dates and making matches with people and setting up a date and then standing them up because nine times out of ten, the, person the lady is going to stay there and get some food. Oh, shit. I ain't mad at this it. This is crazy. That's kind of smart. It's getting deep. That's sick. That's you say what you want. This well, business. Genius. This business. <laughs> this this business. Business. Hopefully they bring both boys and girls so at least there's a, uh, you know it a, I mean? a mixer. Yeah, make it a mixer. Make it a mixer. Yo, that's, that's crazy, crazy, but that is a lot of work. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I never, I don't, I don't, is I don't know how that go. They linking today in on my space tonight. They sit there, swipe, swipe, swipe. That's it. Yo, I'm going to be at such and such tonight at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Pull, Pull up. All right. That's but no, you got to kind of cultivate the relationship. I mean, but That's if what you, I'm saying, you home doing no, nothing, it, is, they, it depends on how far you are. Apparently, there's like bot agencies and shit like that. So you're communicating with a bot. Yeah. Chat GPT. Yeah. They at. So oh. the bot got a sense of humor that when I tell you this joke, you're going to yes. get it? All yes. that shit. Wow. That's scary. That's why. Mm -hmm. That's scary. But hey, motherfuckers is lonely thought, out here. Thought, trying to find it. The thought it. is genius, to be honest. The thought is genius. You bringing revenue to your business? Got to drive the revenue somewhere. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. And look, I have a whole bunch of single dudes in here, a whole bunch of single chicks over here. Exactly. It might work out. Word. This is our first dating spot. Remember when we was at the... You motherfuckers on these dating apps talking to bots like That's a dude. That's crazy, son. Y'all so doofy on these dating apps. <laughs> 
so glad I never signed up for some of this stuff. I know. It used to be, it used to be a time on there back in the yeah. wild. wild, wild. Mm. What? He know. No, I don't. Mm -mm. Talk, <laughs> nigga. You don't know about the date naps. Me and they wasn't a date nap. What was it? Me and they. Me and they. No, I'm not dating that. I'm talking about the like Christian Black, Lingle. Black Planet wasn't I'm a not date, date nap, nigga. We, nigga. we used it as what date naps. What are you talking about? What was it? Black Planet was not a date that nap. Wasn't I'm a date asking nap. you what was it. It was a social networking It wasn't site. a date nap. Just because it wasn't was it? by definition doesn't mean he didn't use it the same Tell way as a date nap. Tell me right now. Nigga, that's the case. Who Twitter and Instagram is a date no, nap. No, it's not. Niggas use it for that. And Black Planet and Mi Gente, you met people. Mm. Twitter, you don't got to meet nobody. You could just get up there and talk your shit and leave. You wasn't on Black That's Planet what, to talk up. your shit. Twitter was a date nap too at one point. Like, let's be fucking clear. <laughs> That's what I heard, yo. Twitter was a date nap. I heard IG that. too, not for nothing. I heard. All of them be date naps. People be horny. Facts. All right, whatever. So that, <laughs> so that mean Black Planet was the original Don Dada. I mean, yeah, but I mean dating app as like, in that's Tinder. Tinder. That's, focus, that's the whole purpose. The, the Everybody on the app is on there for that purpose. Like Tinder, right? Yeah. Tinder. 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 Yeah. Tinder. Tinder is that. Black Planet wasn't that. It wasn't. You've been a horny nigga for a while. <laughs> nigga, nigga, <laughs> nigga, who says I'm horny? Niggas definitely I'm, used it for that, but that wasn't the, the, sole, the sole purpose. purpose of the app. These dating mm -hmm. apps, that's the purpose. Yo, yours on MySpace to what? Promote, network. Pr promote pr and network. Promote your music. Thank you. I mm know. -hmm. I, I was an artist. I <laughs> know. You was drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember some of your works. <laughs> Masterpieces, <laughs> yo, this nigga here, that little tall, oh, man. that little online now, like that little thing, light boy. skin thing you used to have. It was a, a beauty. <laughs> oh, Nicole, <laughs> don't touch. They me. left Nicole off my list. Yo, they gotta redo my list. They gotta redo my list, yo. yo. Nicole, <laughs> look, look at him, yo. Started reminiscing. Yeah, that's that's dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> No, Nicole was fine. <laughs> she was, Nicole, was, Nicole was so fine. I invited her to the birthday party one day. You know how somebody be so fine, they just show up and cause a problem? <laughs> ain't she, said, ain't she didn't open do mouth nothing yet. to nobody, ain't yo. Ain't open their mouth, yo. Sweetheart. <laughs> All she did was come in looking like that. <laughs> bitch was fine. Who this tall dude? <laughs> I think somebody hit her. Oh, shit, they did it at Fort Nicole. Who? I can't say. At your spot? At the birthday party. That's crazy. Just for being. 30? I think that's the year. I think that's the fine. that's the year I met Amani. That was that was when Crystal brought Amani to my birthday party. I forgot that club, but Nicole came looking like, oh, forget it, man. <laughs> <laughs> forget it. Let's move on. What was she? Yeah. Never Yo. talked to her again after that. <laughs> she, moved she, she moved to LA. Shit. Yo. Why you know? Shit. Huh? No, I was around. Never mind. Like, <laughs> I, ain't never tried, I never tried to bag her. I never tried to pop her bag or nothing. I did. She was just oh, fired. What a gentleman and good friend. <laughs> <laughs> she, was no, she, she was fired. No, she she was fired. Nigga, I know. <laughs> she was fine enough to take her side if your, your girl started. Beating her. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, but she ain't even do nothing. Yeah, come on, yo. yo and you been me. You been me for a few months. Though. I've been noticing. I've been, I yeah. didn't want to say nothing. I don't know what you going through. <laughs> yeah, yeah but you're shit. not acting like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at you in the house. Oh, shit. Oh, I need shit. a break. I'm going to. For sure. Get a room for three oh nights. Oh my god! What do y'all want to talk about, man? Bird, what up? Oh, Fuck man. is Bobby, man. Well, yo, we got a um, we 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 got a resolution in a in a in Surf's case. Um, he went to court. Through the way, got his sentence. Speaking of North greatness, that's right. Speaking of North great, North. When greatness. was we talking about Newark greatness? It wasn't greatness that we were. Oh, we were not mentioning. talking about the greatness of Newark. Oh my god! <laughs> Maybe was... you need to watch the Netflix Malcolm X Newark story again because <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't greatness, and it ended with plenty of questions. Yo, why you? <laughs> yo, dog, about? why you can't just keep moseying along? <laughs> the the is wrong. Oh. No, I ain't me. He don't meander. He's meander. I'm not meandering. I don't meander, nigga. <laughs> yeah, my man, sir. Free the wave, Free my the guy. Wave. We Free love you. Now. We miss you. We need you. Bike. Ice was there on scene like Megan Cunliffe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> I went to, support my, went to support my guy, man. Um, I did talk to Surf this morning before I got in here. Um, I asked him, is there anything he wanted to say? So he said, he asked me to read this. <clears throat> He said, I appreciate the support, the love, and I'll be back soon. I've learned something in here during this time. Right foot, left foot, breathe, repeat. Things could have not worked out in my favor, and I thank God, I thank 
and I think God doesn't make mistakes. Excuse me. So I'm going to tackle what he put in front of me. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I will see y'all again soon. There's a message from Surf. Okay, um, see, this is why. <laughs> he said, no, he couldn't have told me to read no shit like that. I'm going to read it to him. I'm going to fuck Surf. Nah, I, I, I'm going to fuck Surf up. Hey, Surf, you have you a writer, nigga. You got to update your, <laughs> I just got a, a book for a bid speech. I thought that was you a very get, well written. Uh, it is, uh, but he gave me the same speech in 2015, <laughs> <laughs> 2012, <laughs> 2018. We don't care, <laughs> nigga. It's the last <laughs> time we <laughs> giving it. it is, it, and it better be. It's the last time we giving it, so I don't give a fuck, man. No, this like time that. when he come home, I'm handcuffing him to me. <laughs> Handcuffed. It was good. It was a lot of people, um, you know, showed up for him. Um, Beasley from URL got up there and, and said some real, real uh, moving st- um, things about him. A um, couple of the battlers, Surf, Nunu was there. Chess, I seen Nunu. I seen Nunu up um, in that piece. Tay Rock. So it was just dope to see. He had, a, he had a lot of support. The judge even noticed that. She said, normally in these instances, when I look back there, it's usually empty. But for surf, it was so it was so full that people were coming and had to sit on the other side. That's right. So mm-hmm. that was great. But he was he you know he was in good spirits, held his head high, said I love you, everybody, gave a head nod, and you know go ahead and handle his business. I miss him, man. Me yeah. too. Miss him. I love him. I know he'll be fine because he just built like that. Mm-hmm. Oh five, all right. I'll be be right there. He wanted them there. <laughs> and does the time that he's been in there count towards the five? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thirteen months, right? Yeah, thirteen. Okay, of out of 60. Mm-hmm. You got to do 85%. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know the jail math, so you got to put me on. You know, 85% of 60. <laughs> <laughs> carry the, carry one. the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carry the one. <laughs> guys. Like, all right. 50, yeah, sure. 51, bro. Oh, okay. Minus 13. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. My bad. It's, it's crazy. We got to mail you the audio to this Malcolm X opera <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold you down during your bid. Keep a nice, peaceful head. Oh, oh shit. man. Oh, my. Idiot. Oh, fuck it up. Malcolm X. I'm what are you even man. weird of that bullshit? <laughs> How do you, I, I can see me getting escorted out of there. Because, like, yo, my man, you got to stop laughing. <laughs> yeah. You got to go. What? I ain't going on no dick. Forget it. Come on. Did they have Martin Luther King in there? Yo, no, man. That's <laughs> really? Wild. No. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. You started it, nigga. That's what you get. Uh-huh. Oh shit! Wasn't there tea? <laughs> <laughs> That's tea for real. No, it is um, cucumber tequila. Uh, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> problem right there. That right there is what the problem be. Like on the main part, you want to come drink this fucking cucumber lily bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like the skin at the beginning More of the pod. Hibiscus. <laughs> Mel, Mel had some friends come through pods giving. Hey, I did, hey, I did, hey. I did. Shout out to Ari and Nicole. Yep. Mm-hmm. We had fun. That's what you got. <laughs> what do you, I'm still stuck on, you know, Imani, you know, changing his whole disposition about feet. I am very impressed with myself. You know you're powerful. Come on. Come on, big Mel. You are you was who you was when you got here. Yo. People was reaching out. Yo, tell Mel I I got 25 and she put them in my face. Oh, <laughs> shit. Like, what's up? That's your rate? $25? No, no he didn't mean $2,500. Oh, he didn't mean $25. Oh, damn. Uh-huh. I seen niggas saying, if I was Imani, I would have tripped her. She would have she landed. <laughs> she would have landed on me. <laughs> Fuck that foot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, oh man. Man. That oh, shit was God. great, man. <laughs> Oh, that's Fuck. cool. fucking pods. Why y'all got new music up there? Something came out? Not really that I was aware of. Uh, it's it's AZ and Buckwild drop. That's the only thing I, I got. Sexy Rare drops. It's, it's a, a deluxe, It's a right? deluxe, but it's... They just put the new Baby Daddy show no, on the No, no. Huh. It's a couple more records. And um, it's not bad. <laughs> like, I don't like the, the, same, the one song that we talked about. Mm-hmm. I'm so torn now. That's what it sounds like. I'm torn, bro. You sound like you are all over the place with this. I'm torn because I like the the music that she that that sounds good. I, I like the music that sounds like it's still her trying to be, you know, she got her little ratchet lane. I like that. But then the songs that sound like she was actually being forced to make, it's like I could hear the difference, if that makes sense. I could hear the records that it sounds like she wanted to do and then the record somebody told her to do, even though they're all 
kind of in the same realm. Some just sound like you were you were nudged over here a little bit more. So it doesn't feel as authentic. It sounds like, all right, I ain't really putting my all in this one. It sounds crazy just from listening to her music because I like this project. I like the original. Mm. There are some records on, on this deluxe that I'm like, okay, this was cool. I did get a chance to listen to Buster's album that dropped last week. You was excited about that. I was excited, and I got did a chance it, to did it live up to um, your, your expectation. I was a little underwhelmed with the production on the album. I'll say that. Wow, you had high hopes for the production. I did because of the raw lineup. I did. I did. And Buster high. usually has good production on his album. I was a yeah. little underwhelmed. I'm like, from what I, from the producers I saw, I just expected. I, maybe it's my fault for having a higher expectation. Uh huh. I didn't go in here blindly, but I saw the features. I saw this is. A, pretty modern Buster, al Buster album. It sounded, it sounded too much for me, for me. Like he was trying to make music for the youngs. Younger, yeah. And I don't want to hear that from Buster personally. Like he was trying to make music for who? For the youngs. The youth. For uh, the youth. The youngs. The youngs. <laughs> the lils. Yeah. yeah. Not for me. So, yeah, Respectfully. Sure. Buster's absolutely Buster's still a legend. Yeah. But it just, this project wasn't for me. At all. Mm. Hmm. There's some shit on there, but it makes sense, though. Why so? Because it's a job. You know, yeah, so it makes sense. If 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 you think your old demo ain't gonna buy your shit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. And that's the new bop. You gotta kind of find a middle ground. That's why I said before, with whole boys album. You could do both. You could you could find a middle ground for the uh, hip hop purists, and I think you can also try and catch a newer. Younger demo to bring them over to your shit. This didn't feel middle ground to me, though. Mm -hmm. This felt... Just felt all one way. Yes. Got you. Like catered. Yeah. Got and you. usually Busta actually has a pretty diverse album. Like, he'll have the shit that's obviously attempting or will be a smash single. Then he's got some rapidy rap shit, some knots, some uh, DJ Scratch, hardest beat you ever mm -hmm. heard in your life, rapping crazy. This was all pretty one-sided. Got you. And see, I don't, I don't think the... And I, I hope this term isn't like offensive, but calling somebody a, a legacy act, that shouldn't be offensive, right? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think the legacy acts necessarily have to kind of cater to a newer or younger crowd. Like you you got here off of your, your 30, work. 30 years away. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you should be able to put out an album that is in line with you and what we know you to be. And your fan base is going to go and stream. You know, ain't nobody buying today anyway. So it's, it's all streams. True. So they're going to come out and stream. And then if you are independent or whatever the case may be, you doing 15 or 12,000 is, is, is okay for you as opposed to being on a major having to put up these high 80,000 gotcha. you know, um, streams to, to matter. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just was, um, I, had, I had really, and it could be my fault for having high expectations, but it just wasn't it for me. Gotcha. Same. Anything else in music? No, Terrace Martin dropped a Christmas album I'm going to listen to. Robert Glasper dropped a Christmas album I'm going to listen to. I think that was a couple of weeks ago, though. Mm. But uh, I just put the tree up, so maybe I'll... I'm doing that this weekend. Vibe, vibe out with some, some new Christmas music. But it was, it's a quiet weekend. I think it's going to be a quiet rest of the year, honestly. We got Nikki. Yeah, so we got Nikki next week. I thought she pushed back. Next, December 8th. Oh, okay. Next week. Yo, you put your tree up, you said? I did. And you putting yours up? I'm putting mine up this weekend. My girl want me to go... Cut down a real tree. <laughs> Yourself? <laughs> See what that Malcolm X opera did? <laughs> <laughs> See? See? Wait. She wants you to take an axe. It's a small it ain't a saw. It, it's like a it's like a spot where that's what they do. You go pick out your shit. tree that you want. You pick out your tree that And then you want. they give you an axe Stop and you chop it. Makes sense while we laughing first. <laughs> She's asking me questions. Have you ever sawed no. down a tree before? No, it ain't the big tall motherfucker. It, but have you ever sawed down a tree? No. It's a little bit of work. Can what I, would can, make... Why? No, 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 no. Can, can I go? <laughs> I just want to film it. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> but she would go with you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She going to help? She, I mean, she going to... She'll catch the tree when it's it falls. It's small because my daughter's small. So we had ah. a tree, but um, she want, it's a spot in Mendham. You know Mendham. That, sure. Uh, you go pick out your, your tree. Mendham. I mean... And chop it down yourself. I've done that before, but I feel like that's, 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 I'm it's from upstate shit. New York. It's and white I'm white shit. shit. So like, <laughs> yeah. It's a white shit. But <laughs> did you did you offer an alternative? Option? Cultural shit for some cultural shit. 
No, you don't give a fuck. Okay, so wait, are they giving you an axe or a chainsaw? Do you it's know? a small tree. It ain't a big tree. It'll probably be a little handsaw. Well, I, it depends. Small I don't tree know. like what? I'll see when I get there. Okay. Like that? Maybe like four feet. Be like the cartoons. Like like the like little man right here? Yeah, probably about that, huh? Oh, you can handle oh, that, buddy. Yeah, yeah that's get what I'm a saying. Nice sharp knife. Take that. Because my daughter's small, so you know they be pulling on shit, and I don't want to risk that. Got it, got it. Okay. Sure. You're going to chop a tree down. <laughs> You gonna wear a lumberjack when I was you do just it? About to ask. <laughs> what else your girl got you doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> Stupid. Why, uh, why are we here? <laughs> well, I forget it. She's really covering the whole spectrum, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the wild shit is. You don't need to celebrate Christmas, right? Who? Oh, yeah, celebrate Christmas. <laughs> I swore I heard him say he didn't I celebrate Christmas. I thought so, before. too. <laughs> nah, that's y'all. Running y'all with y'all. who? Y'all. That don't celebrate Christmas? No, that's running with the. Narratives, but it's cool. I don't celebrate Halloween. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Uh, oh, okay. Fourth of July. Oh, so you, you said you didn't celebrate Thanksgiving either, really? No, I didn't say that. All right, maybe I'm just lying on you. I, I, <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> just me, huh? It won't be the first time. Just me. That lies. I lie on you. Don't worry about it. We don't start your this. shit. We don't done start this your shit. We've yo. done this before. We don't, we don't have to do this. I don't do that. I love you too. Wow. Uh, <laughs> some prayers. Yeah, word. Talk some prayers, indeed. Uh, I got apologized to Lupe because I called him a clout chaser. Oh, shit. He got on your ass? Yeah. That's what happened. Little Chicago niggas was at your door. <laughs> executive, <laughs> executive security wasn't on the way. Mm-hmm. He brought the ninja sword out for you? Nah, Malcolm X. <laughs> the nation was at no, your door. No, he tweeted, he tweeted his Grammys mm. and I tweeted some shit and then he called me. Mm-hmm. And I answered the phone and said, yo, man, why are you, why, why are you tweeting your Grammys? <laughs> 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 yo, what's going on, man? He said, I ain't like that cloud chaser shit. Mm. Say what you want about the music. I don't give a fuck about what you think about music. But you know I'm not a cloud chaser. Come on. Come on. I ain't never done nothing cloud chaser. Yeah, he's not really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's not not nothing in my, that's not, that's on not my jacket mm-hmm. says that's not as bad. cloud chaser. I, was, I don't even remember saying that, nigga. <laughs> 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 That's the problem with these fucking that? podcast mics, yo. <laughs> Who said that about you? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Budden. Freudian slip. Freudian slips. I didn't mean that about Lupe. All I meant to say was that shit was ass. <laughs> that was the only thing I meant to say. Got it. I didn't mean to call him a name. A clout chaser. We always big up Lupe over here. He knows that. Yeah. He knows mm-hmm. that. He said it. He fucking told me. We had we had a good talk. We had a good talk. Shout out to Lupe, man. Yeah, we had, a, we had a real good throw. That's my man. That's my man. He had you shook, though? No. No, Lupe, <laughs> Lupe is my man. I ain't fucking with Lupe. I got to go back to school to fuck with him. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. playing him. Yeah, he's good. He's big words. Yeah. Yeah. No. Me and Royce have to jump that nigga or something. <laughs> <laughs> we got to tag to do something. He was telling that nigga, leave him be wherever he at with his swords and mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. Leave him alone. Yeah. That's my problem, too. Some of these niggas I be dissing is nice, nice. Yeah. yeah, some of them is real nice. So yeah. I need to shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I need to just yeah. shut up. And you little rusty. But his point was, yo, your voice is just too powerful for me to allow that. You for me to allow you to call me a cloud chaser. I get it. Because once you do it, and here they come. They, they, whoa, yeah. whoa, here they come. And come on, Joe. We gonna put we gonna you know that early. That. Let's put, let's let's uh-huh. not do that. You right, man. You right. Dip that in the bud. Yeah, but that other man. nigga is cloud chasing. I ain't saying his name no more because you's a nasty clout chasing Christian. <laughs> For real. That nigga's a nasty clout chasing Christian. And I don't give a fuck what y'all got to say about it either. That's just, that nigga's disgusting. Oh, man. I'm sorry, yo. Do what you want. Name whoever you want to name. Name away. I'm sorry I ever caught wind of your Christian ass. You have been a real <laughs> Christian fucking thorn, thorn in, <laughs> in my side <laughs> ever yeah. since I got wind of whoever the fuck you are. And that is my problem with the internet. Yeah. I do my best to stay away from certain corners of the internet so I can not know who any of you niggas are. And the second we talk about it for a second, here we go. That's nigga. a little lifeline. Oh, my. Nah, that's what Lupe just said. Yeah, but go do something yourself. Lupe could say that. Lupe is him still. No, I'm talking about Lupe saying your voice is that powerful mm-hmm. that when you say some shit, it's going to ring out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but oh, I can't even <laughs> say what I want to say. <laughs> Forget it. Forget it. Leave me alone. 
Dude, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. You was right. Me, gay, but other niggas is wrong. Get him. <laughs> the fuck? Well, niggas yo. is annoying. Got nothing better to do but read a Bible and read Joe. <laughs> you got a book in the Bible? Book the of Joe. Book of, book of Joe. Joe. Oh. Mm. I, I mean, read like no. the other read. Double but triple entendre. entendre. Don't even ask mm-hmm. me. I got to come back to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Well, speaking of, speaking of cloud chasing and the effects of it. Speaking of Christians, cloud chasing. Yo, <laughs> 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 T.I. and his son had a had a little eventful week um, Club in Atlanta mm-hmm. Called themselves capitalizing on The drama, situation the drama, drama. Mm-hmm. And threw them on a flyer It's probably mm-hmm. not a good idea Not a good idea You know yeah. what I mean That's, This is people you know Moving to these not, cities Not in Atlanta really, yeah, yeah. You know you don't know what's going on You think ha ha is funny mm-hmm. But like, why is that a bad idea You're just trying to get some attention into, To what you're trying to do You ain't cut me no check you trying to capitalize on my family drama, putting us on the fl- cover of a flyer. Was the flyer insinuating that they were going to be They were going to be hosting. Fir- no, 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 no. That's not what happened. The flyer had, the first one was a cartoon, mm-hmm. and it was T.I. You know how like Homer used to be choking Bart Simpson? Yeah. So it was a cartoon of T.I. choking his son. Oh, no, no, and then the other right. one was just their, the two faces together, but it never insinuated they were going to be there. Mm. Oh. And that's how you get away with it. But T.I. got disorder. wind of it. It mm. pulled up. The party was supposed to be, I believe it was that Tuesday night or that Wednesday night or something. T.I. got wind up and pulled up to the club the night before. Oh, y'all put me and my, y'all playing with my family? Put me and my son on your flyer? Okay, guess what? Nothing happens. There will be no party tonight. There not will a be, dime going to come through here. Not a dime is coming in here. Won't be no liquor sold, no section sold, nothing. Play I'm getting me. all of it. And don't play with me in this city. He asked the nigga, like, yo, you must, you from here? Yeah, like, you, you must not know. Mm-hmm. You must not know. And the very next night, the club had hosting T.I. And, and King. King Harris. Do with that information as you, you know, as you please. Oh, wait, so they disregarded his. No, 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 no. They, they adhered. Just, oh, we, okay. we made up. They adhered Got it. to what okay. was being said. Yeah. They made it right. Uh, supposedly and like You just can't be playing With everybody You can't put people On a flyer Even if you're not Trying to say That they're hosting True Right That implies That these people Will be there mm-hmm. I've been telling New York promoters Been doing this shit For years Forever mm-hmm. Them girls Forever. are not Going to be at that club I've been telling y'all You've been, you been the flyer Oh my queen. god Forever the Canal Street Queen on all the fucking you know mixtape CDs, bags? no the oh. CDs and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> she bought the bag. I've seen I've seen my picture literally on like storefronts. You don't want to be the Canal Street Queen? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? But yeah, so yeah. As long as they don't say you're coming. So what you do? You used to pull up and. No, Tupac, their whole bootleg section. Some, I mean, some sometimes decent to desist, but sometimes it just wasn't worth it. Mm. Yeah. No, you can't be playing with people, family. And based off our, our traumas and our shit that we going through, mm-hmm. you gonna put us on the fly like make us a joke? Yeah, that ain't no. Mm-mm. All right, jokes on you. So you got a bag out of it. That's what happens. You you, you play stupid, again. You, you play don't, stupid games. You don't get to dictate how people respond to what they perceive as your disrespect. So he showed up. They ain't anticipate that. I agree. You know what I mean? They thinking, ha ha, it's a joke. And like, my, shout out to my man Steve O. He, you know, Atlanta's known for that. Like, they do the Martin Luther King flyers every year with, yeah, I showed you a couple of them where it's just some crazy shit. Like, Atlanta's, the promoters there are known for doing some wild shit with their flyers. Not with Mr. Harris. Mm. Just learned a quick little lesson. I doubt it happened ever again. What, man? Where's your brain? If my son just finished cutting ass in public two days ago, you ain't getting no fucking hosting money with me. Get your little ass in the house. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> well, you gotta be fucking still, shitting that, me. That'd be the thing. I like, wish niggas my think son that they would. can play around with niggas' kids. It'd still be a nigga well, no, kid. Well, no, T.I.'s right. It'd still be a nigga T.I. kid. T.I.'s right. Like, Listen, I don't give a fuck what we going through. When they sent me the cover options for the last pod, my favorite pick was T.I. and his son. But you don't put nobody's son. Mm-mm. You don't do that to nobody's kid. Mm-mm. So we didn't do that. Because that's just common sense. Mm-hmm. These club promoters are fucking nuts, and T.I. did the right thing. I'm telling you that Joe Budden 
would have took that money and sent my son ass to his fucking room somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I lied and said you was coming, because you somebody. You got a little, your name ring bells. I'm lying on you, nigga. You on punishment. <laughs> I took the iPad, the TV, the phone. How can you punish kids nowadays? That nigga's grown. Yeah. What do that mean? You can't punish your grown ass kid. How can't you? Well, who the fuck y'all talking to? If your grown ass kid still live with to. you, who you can punish to? them? Oh, yeah. If he still lives under the roof. I just about? called my grown ass son and told him I will snatch that car when I feel like it. Yeah. And he said, I know, you're right. I feel you. I know that. <laughs> so the second he do some bullshit and you say, yo, give me that, figure it out on your own, that's punishment. Why you can't punish your you grown kids? You can punish kid? your kids by taking away the thing that they love. The, that, if you if you bought it, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't talking about the kids that's like fully independent. You can't really do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> the adults. I think that's the one I was talking yeah, your about. Little, your little job having ass. Yeah. Word. You're making your own money, nigga. Just fuck out of here. I call that job, get you fired right now, nigga. Yeah, my mom couldn't do nothing with me when I started having like drug dealer money or stolen goods money. That was in the 90s when your mom used to say, I don't want you to. Dirty money in my house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, hey, I was so proud when I tried to pay my mom rent. She said, Where's this money from? I was all. Oh. Well, come on, give it back. Be mad. A lot, a lot of the mothers ain't saying. I was just getting ready to say that. Ain't how a lot of mothers said what? My mom no, said. A lot of the mothers took that money. You went in there and she she found that shit in uh, your crib. Word. My mom said it. She ain't want the dirty money, but she sure took a couple of them stolen televisions. <laughs> <laughs> just just hey. brushed the dirt right off. Yeah. She got a, she, she still got a sound bar up there from from ninety seven. <laughs> oh man, love you, mom. Yo. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> she ain't want the dirty money. TV, you just brush the dirt right on off. It's yeah, good. Yo, clean that stupid, bad boy. Yeah. That's when the Pro Scan first came out, too. <laughs> oh, <don't laughs> shit. Yo, I they changed the that. game with that Pro Scan. It was high as hell when they first came out. Pro Scan was fire. Them shits was high as hell, Ooh, yo. Oh, I had them in the street for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man. Shout out to T.I. Shout out to his son. Facts. Oh, man. And shout out to Ramona for learning a very valuable lesson. Shout out to our kids for the bullshit they're going to put us through. I see it already. Oh, man. My daughter's three, and I can see it. It's, it's bad. I already know. she And, and she knows, like. For her addiction to gadgets? Nah, just the shit that she's going to put me through. Uh, can I ask y'all something, Miss Girl Dads? Depends. True. Hypothetically, of course. But if your daughter was 16 and bagged the 20 year old, 21 year old NBA player and was fucking him, what would your stance be as a parent? Have fun, guys. No, I thought it was all about Josh Giddy. See, I ain't mean to jam y'all up. That's cool. But I told y'all Josh Giddy, they was making it hot. Like, hopefully. (laughs) The NBA. Hopefully, uh, y'all cool enough. You and your daughter? To where y'all communicating. To where the dude that she really likes, she'll run him by you. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Hopefully. That's not always the case. That ain't answer my question. No, I'm saying. So if she runs the nigga by you, you could explain to her why if you 15, 16 years old, you being in a relationship with a 21-year-old dude may not be the most appropriate thing. It's levels in development. When you 50 and you dating a 45 year old. I didn't even say relationship. I just been like, fuck it. Fuck it. I would hope they would be in a relationship if she giving the nigga some box. All right, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind this. Yeah, you talking about a nigga daughter. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't. Ish, just the everybody guy. we fucked is somebody's daughter. And when every, I know, but I'm talking <laughs> about. You wasn't addressing. in relationships with all yeah. I'm talking about addressing it from the father's standpoint. You don't want your daughter to be out here just casually bopping the NBA niggas. <laughs> See, and that's why God didn't give me no door. Because <laughs> that, that is exactly <laughs> who I want my daughter to go bop with. You pardon, yo. All right. <laughs> you pardon. All right. You I'm want cool. your daughter to date a Joe? I said an NBA nigga. Do you want your, they, did some of them worse And I would want him to date a Joe. I'm a great guy. 21-year-old Joe. 21-year-old Joe shouldn't have been dating nobody. You didn't answer my question. Would you want your 16-year-old <laughs> daughter to date 21-year-old Joe? No. 
So but that's beside want, my example. I don't want I'm my daughter getting somebody. giddy, stop. jitty, and none of that. Oh, stop it, nigga. <laughs> Joe wasn't M's up at 21. Joe was struggling trying to get focus played on the radio. <laughs> I'm talking about the 21-year-old nigga that is M's up and is projected to have long-term contracts for the next 10 to 15 years is no, what I'm talking about. You're sneering at me. No. I'm not. No. Yeah, because you want to hear what you're saying. I want, I want to. My answer is no. Yeah, I want the money don't change nothing. I was going to say, like, Because honestly, a lot of them niggas, who. He fucking at every city. They got to stop yeah, at no. every city of somebody that we got want. in our phone. Yo, you writing That's Tammy, Indiana. That's Tracy, Indiana. That's speculative. Such and such, Seattle. You, you, yo, stop, yo. You pie. Stop and clock you with this phone. I'm not pardon. Dog, you know enough women on the scene that you know when XYZ is coming to town, who they here to see in the club when you come in the bar to see them. Yeah. Can't have this talk on I bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> no, for your sake. Not for my not sake. For mine. Not for my sake. I'm off the scene, so it ain't really for my sake. We know that, yo, such and such that play for the Pacers is fucking with this bartender. Such and such that plays for the Pistons is fucking with this bartender. That's only in New York. It's strip clubs and nightclubs in every major city in the country. These niggas got to stop. And Magic Johnson said, yo, this is on record, so I'm not dirty macking. Magic said, yo, he had girls in every city that they played in. And it was just up to him which one he wanted to call when they touched down. Who was the one that said uh, the nightlife women are, the, are oh, for a ball player? Gilbert. Women. Gilbert, that's right. That's Gilbert and them be giving it up, too. Y'all do a lot of projecting in these conversations. How? They saying it. It ain't us projecting nothing onto them. If you are a young, single, millionaire athlete, you have kind of your pick of the litter as far as the... I don't want my kid to be in that litter. But why wouldn't you look at it as your kid having her pick of the litter? Because it's a conversation we gotta have off to off mic. Why? Because if you really want to have this conversation, yeah. the women don't have the pick of the litter. Oh, I disagree. They have the pick of the fuck. They don't have the pick of the litter. The Bible says the man chooseth a woman. We all oh. know this. <laughs> no, we don't have a kind of, no, dog. Yeah, you go see nah, one man. Mouse of Max out. <laughs> Yo, and dog. now I got to hear about the Listen Bible. Listen to this. You put dog. a TH on side. Yeah, yeah. I don't come Stop. on. Stop, dog. dog. So let me ask you a question. Just talk to me without the Bible. Cool. Let me ask you a question. You've dated a lot of girls in your day, right? Most of them that you've dated, not your girlfriends. I'm talking about that you dated. If you said, yo, you want to be my girl, what's the answer? Give me a percent. A percent that would say, I think a lot of them would say, yeah. Give me a percentage. I think probably 90% would say, yeah. Cool, but they never was your girlfriend, right? So uh, that means the power yeah. to pick your girlfriend was in your hands. Well, if you're going by my word. I and know. these are my, I'm agreeing this is my with word your, and my percentages. I'm agreeing with your percentages which help and your, your example, word. But if we speak to the women, they don't necessarily have to abide by this, uh, the percentages I'm saying. They get to have a totally different view on that. Yeah, but I'm saying women, if they wanted to be, wanted you to be their man, and you didn't want that. What We're, happened, right? Yes, but that's us speaking for them. I know. It is. We, we do not know. We are speaking if, as niggas that have a wealth <laughs> of, of data and information. So you never want to see a day where your daughter has her own roster? Fuck no. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with this nigga? Okay. That's you a girl, are, dad. That's a girl, dad. That's a girl. You know want I'm your at, daughter to have a roster. I don't have a daughter. If you have one. That's why he can. That's why he can. That's, that's why, why he can say can that goofy shit. Because, yeah. that's why. Shut up, nigga. Y'all just not. All right, I can't talk to y'all. You can't. <laughs> you, do y'all link? Look, look, look. Vern Daughters huh? is grown and in college. Vern Daughters is nineteen and twenty right now. No, they can't. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just wait one second. You gonna let them do this? Hold on, just one fucking second here. You guys are aware of the phrase "ho phase," right? Yeah. Uh oh. How? I will go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I will get out of here. I'll leave if it get because I ain't doing this. Whatever she did, but, hey, keep my shit with my shit, and keep her shit with her shit. <laughs> separate compartment. Oh shit! All right, she's going. She... Keep going though. Deep end. I'm <laughs> just saying. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys have this, you know, expectation that you will have daughters that will have agency over their bodies and be adults that can Ooh, make decisions that... <laughs> 
sexual liberation and freedom oh, comes hey, along. Yo, with yes. yo can yeah. I, get, I got a headache now. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You speak English. Of course that, that, face. Of course face. that can happen. Ho face. Now you ask any father on the planet if they wish that their daughter has a whole face. Mm-hmm. The answer is typically going to be no. Correct. Do we know that that's a possibility? Yeah, because you could raise your kid to be whatever great person they could be. When that cute little nigga get in their ear in college, that lives in the dorm, that got everybody else on their dick, he you could get to a place you, you couldn't get to. You ain't going to love your daughter no different the same way all. we don't love the True. all. Who's no different that's going through a whole phase that we done fucked? Wait. Them going through that whole thing. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm talking to the right? people that have been outside. The, nigga, the girl. Fuck you. I've been outside with the hoes. I'm not trying to say. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, nigga. What, what you I'm talking about? What I'm Go saying ahead. is, when we were fucking those girls that were in their whole phase. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good times. Great times. Oh my. God. A lot of them girls wasn't in their whole phase. A lot of them was. Dreams, a lot of them was hoes. They wasn't oh, their whole phase. Oh, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking about? Between a girl wait, and no, her hoe. Wait, wait, wait. What's now? the difference between a hoe and a girl and her hoe phase? The hoe phase never ended. The hoe phase don't <laughs> stop. It wasn't a phase. <laughs> it became life. Got it. Hoe is life. <laughs> uh, I know some hoes. I'm like, you still you got a with year phase. God, I knew you 15 years, my nigga. <laughs> You still respect <laughs> commitment, <laughs> commitment, <laughs> and they say women don't commit. No, my God, though, <laughs> bro, you wouldn't want your daughter doing. I have a totally different outlook on this, but it's tough in a room full of girl dads. But I would, if nigga, if I'm walking by the room every day and my daughter in there just muddy alone, <laughs> just can't back a thing, <laughs> phone on silent. <laughs> yo, why I gotta be that? Yo, why do you always gotta go to the far <laughs> gotta be that up the side of the spectrum? I, as why a, she as just a, can't have as one a, committed boyfriend? There gotta be a, but, a mutt. All right, all right, bet. I like that one. Yeah, cool. if, if I'm walking by my daughter's room, she got some nigga she love. That nigga ain't in the room. You won't let me <laughs> land my plane. <laughs> oh, you're not even letting niggas Alright, for <laughs> oh, shit. The fuck is your job? No, nigga. Yo, what's wrong with you? You better cupcake on the phone or Ish, What I'm saying is this, because you won't let me land. If I'm hearing my daughter super in love with some nigga, mm-hmm. right? Let's say me and mom hearing it. She is head over heels mm-hmm. about some guy. I've been hearing about it for months. Can't wait to meet him. And now the doorbell, ding dong. And I open the door and it's <laughs> some little doofy looking Urkel. ass nerdy ass yeah, looking yeah. just I like yeah. that I like clap that. it up yeah, like clap that. it up for Urkel yeah what? hell yeah I like that nigga got it moving on 20 you moving got on. Hold you on, pointing hold to somebody that's not or don't have a mic oh. ain't on a pod <laughs> it's fine if Melissa is gonna let y'all say this I'm gonna let y'all say it too I'm cool you disagree I mean do you want your daughter dating like the geeky nerd? No. Or yes. do you want, no. do you yes. want her dating? No, you don't. Or yes, do you I want don't. her dating, Cat. you know, Mel, what Cat. you want your daughter? Charisma. Cat. Stop. We're gonna speak from Mel's you perspective. Stop. Mel oh, I'm is never the, speaking from Mel's perspective. No, no, no. I want to hear from her. Oh, I want to hear from her. Too. From your perspective, you've dated around the spectrum. Yes. Which one would you want your 16-year-old girl dating? My 16-year-old? Yeah. But when you say which one, what oh, do you mean? The fly the nigga fly or the, the nerd? Fly nigga. All of oh. I want her dating the fly nigga. Got you. I do. And, you're, and he okay. do too. No, I don't. And he do too. Mouse, no, I don't. And yes, you do. I promise child. you I don't. Okay, you're can crazy. I disagree? Yeah, you could. All right. But I'm telling you, I don't have nothing to lose by saying that. Bro, I know what I was doing to 16-year-old girls when I was 17 to 18 years old. I keep saying that a lot of what you're saying is projection. No. I keep saying that. I know what my niggas was doing. That's more projection. That's not projection. That's me accepting. How come, how come when I say fly, right? And mm-hmm. this is some toxic shit too. Mm-hmm. Like we have the same place. How come when I'm saying fly, you are turning that into something that into nobody ho- would want their daughter to be with? That's my question to you. Because okay. what is because typically, the, what is a fly nigga doing in I high school? I can tell you. I can answer. You ain't got to answer for me. Because the fly nigga at 17 years old, one, lacks discernment, lacks discipline. Why? That's not true. Why that is, is that an true? assumption. That's not, that's not true. That is an assumption. That is speculative. That's, that is not you, entirely true. All right, so. Yo, y'all I knew some more, relatively you think, solid. You think more have it or don't have it? Yo. One, that two, would be three, speculative. Four, five, six. It's seven men in this room, my nigga. When we was 25 years old, did we have discipline and discernment? I had discernment. Discipline is a different story. 
cool. Stay there. But boy, did I have some discernment. I wasn't fucking everything that came came across my I radar. Di- nothing nothing I said, like it. I said discipline and discernment. Discipline. I don't think they're the same. They not, but you need I both. Didn't have, I didn't have enough. A and discipline in what? Two totally in, different things. And discipline in what area? Because discipline I was, I was wild, cool. wilding, but discipline with women, I was always Discipline meaning that I'm in a committed relationship and I have enough discipline being the young fly nigga that all of these other do- women like to not go put my dick in them. You have to be disciplined to do that. Most 40-year-old niggas don't possess that amount of discipline. So we talking about the 17-year-old fly nigga that got mad other girls checking for him at that point in time. Most men don't have that discipline, So you discipline, don't want your daughter yo. with anybody that has options. Hold on one second, Eric. Question. There was never a point in time when you were like in your late teens, early 20s, in which you really felt like in love with somebody? Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and I still was fucking and like an animal. Okay, all right. Well, and yeah. I love the shit out of her. Yeah, right. And I was yeah. fucking like an animal. Yeah. Oh, you projected. Yo, y'all yeah. niggas in here. Projected. Those words are landing. Y'all who? Not you. You no. You not you. But niggas is in here lying, my nigga. Again, there's been girls when we was thirty years old that we were madly in love with, and we still were cheating. Vern, I wish I could read your player, your, <coughs> you and Ish's player card out loud, but I love you both, so I can't. But y'all think y'all whole lives, y'all get to be y'all. Mm-hmm. And your daughter meet the exact opposite and fall in love with that guy. That's what y'all think? He said, well, I'm I, ask, I didn't, answer no, me first. I'm answering you. No, I didn't say I think that. I want that. Yeah. My wishes and what may come true is two talk could be total two totally, totally different things. Well, You're yeah. asking me what I prefer. My preference is my daughter meets this goofy ass nigga that worships the ground that she walks on and treats her like a queen and a princess. The that is my nigga preference. Can still cheat. But that guy can be the fly he nigga can. can do I'm that. I'm not saying he can't cheat. I'm not saying the goofy nigga can't cheat. I'm saying it's the fly the nigga, nigga could cheats. worship the ground that your daughter walks on. And I say the odds of that happening are less likely. That's all. Got it. That's Got it. it. We talking about probability it. here. We anything yes. is possible. All, I receive it. I'm that's it. done. Yeah, that's a I think that was a good, yeah, yeah, great, yeah, yeah. great, great. Look now the girl <laughs> dad. <laughs> the, girl, the girl dad's on the side. Get your trouble out. Together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't, they can't. <laughs> Oh. Burn can't tell me shit. He be the first nigga to go chase somebody. With. Man, I'm done. I'm, y'all lucky we get to hey, on this part. Y'all, what's the movie with Fifty Cent in it? Get rich, get rich or die, die trying. No, when um he he had the daughter and the daughter came with the red rag and he and he and he opened up the door to the garage and everybody was working out. I didn't see that movie. I don't. Know. I, don't know. I typically run the Fifty Cent movies. Respectful. No, nigga, you know the movie I'm talking about. Is this the one where he had cancer? Den of Thieves, something of thieves. Oh God, Den of Thieves. Den of Thieves. <laughs> Fifty Cent opened the door. The dude was coming to take his daughter to the prom, right? He opens the door. He had a red uh, bandana in his suit jacket. Fifty like Cent a handkerchief. Shit. Handkerchief, but he was using it as a as yeah. a pocket square. Fifty Cent opens the door. He says, "Yo, let me holler at you real quick." He pulled the nigga in the garage, and the garage was right off the, the entrance. Yeah, I remember. And every nigga in there was about 245 cut up muscle gang niggas in there. He's like, yo, this is my only sole purpose of living. Yeah. So, so. you know what I mean? You're going to have here back by what time? He's like, about 11. He said, yeah, 10. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dog, that's how niggas feel about their kids. Let me ask you something. Do, you have, do y'all have the same views if you have a son? No. 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 As fucked up as it is, no. It. That's not fucked no. up. I didn't. No, I said, I said it. I just said it's fucked up. It, it, it is fucked up. It is fucked up. It is fucked up. It's, it's, fucked up. Not, it's not fucked up. You it know why? Fucked up. It's fucked up. Because we the same niggas in here that come in here every single day, and the two of y'all. Don't standards. point at me, my nigga. The, the two of y'all <laughs> say, yo, fuck that. I love double standards. No, I you and Ice both I say that. I said it exists. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. I mean, he loves it. Ever since I said that shit in the pod, that each one of them is the truth. You love it's a double oh, standard. Dog, that's the truth. But we, it's fucked up. Double standards mm-hmm. exist in the world. That don't some mean, of them are that good, mean some of them are bad. That don't mean you want to rear up. your son different than you rear your daughter. That Why you don't want your son to date the square bitch? I do. I like the square chick. For my kid. Yo, let's move on, yo. Nah. Let's move on. Not for my yo, son. Please, let's move on. Bugging. Please, what, what came out? Not for my son. <laughs> what came out? Not for my son, yo. <laughs> yes, the, yo, y'all I niggas hate is, this nigga, man. Why? I'm telling the truth. I, I'm telling I, the truth. Ain't. I'm disagreeing with him. I disagree with him. I can't believe he said that. Yeah, bro. Well, my son had Let me tell you something. So why you don't date the squares? If you... I, I've made a living of... <laughs> no, I'm about to answer you. That's not true. The girlfriends that I've had have not been the most popping this chicks out. 
The girls, the girlfriends, not the chicks that I dated or the chicks that I fucked. Man, I'm talking about the square, girls bro. that I, I, I wifed. It wasn't squares. Was not um, popping mixy girls. They it, wasn't. It wasn't squares ish. You're wrong. Only one of them girls that when I met them was like mixy. And she wasn't even mixy. She just was popular. And she had a lot be, going on. He ain't gonna on. be with the mixy chick. He, he'll she, fuck the mixy chick. He ain't yeah. gonna be with the mixy mm-hmm, chick. But mm-hmm. these girls that you were with in your past and maybe present, I haven't met her. They're yeah, squares. They Bro, what I'm, I mean, squares is, is relative. I guess squares has a different definition. It does. But we all, again, we niggas that been around the block and seen a lot of shit. Bro, I'm not necessarily um, wanting my son to date or the girls that I've dated. You okay. want better? Think about what well, I want my daughter. It's a bigger nigga, conversation. Look, look, look. It's a, it's, and we not even serious us out. Yo, I, this is one of my regrets in life. I'm 47 years old. I've never been married. I could have lived a different life had I got out of the streets earlier and settled down and really been in a committed relationship earlier. I think we'd be running the streets wilding in our whole 30s and 40s and all of that shit, and we miss out on a lot of stuff. I wouldn't want my son to do that what I did. I'm dead ass serious. You'd want your son to like. To, I want my son to be about thirty five ish and to start found somebody. settling down, yeah. family, wife, kids, and start doing all of that shit earlier than I did. You know that doesn't guarantee happiness. Though. It doesn't. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying happiness is not even in the conversation. I'm okay. just saying I wish that path for my kid, being that I've endured this path. I'm not saying my path was bad, but I would have wanted to settle down earlier, have kids earlier, shit like that. And you think you were ready to do that earlier? No, personally, no. And that's my point. I know. So then, that. why would that be a regret? Because knowing what I know now, you regret some of the things that you've endured, or, uh, decisions that you made in the past. It's the exact opposite for me. Like I look at where I have, where I am now, mm-hmm. having my daughter now, the age she's at. Like I think about it when she's ten, how old I'll be. When she's fifteen, how old I'll be. I mm-hmm. think about that. I look at, you know, damn, things might be like my mom had me when she was seventeen. Mm-hmm. We were kind of. Even even in my teens, because we weren't that that far. I was struggling too. Exactly. Gotcha. So I look at both sides of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might have that a, a better relationship, just closeness, but I wasn't nowhere near mentally, emotionally, no type of mature enough to even think about parenting in my twenties. So it's like it's a trade off. To get that, I would have to. I, w- I wouldn't. I don't think I would have been as half as great of a dad as I am now. It's possible. In my t- I don't, I'm saying what I don't think. I can no, never I'm prove it. It's possible. You're right. I don't think I would have been anywhere near the type of dad I am now had I had a kid in my early 20s. Gotcha. So. All right, that was an amazing segment. It was. Right. <laughs> Kudos. Getting out of there, Mel, you tried it. <laughs> yeah, you tried it, girl. You don't even know how to weed read. <laughs> Surrounded by girl dads, so you trying oh, to go yeah. there? I was like, wait, wait, what you mean? That just speaks to how much pieces of shit you niggas have been in your lives. <laughs> God, ain't, God ain't get y'all. Forget it. Us niggas. Oh, girl. It was just <laughs> mad girls. Girls everywhere. Girls, girls. I love girls. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. Yo, how do we be friends yeah. with all of these dudes and all of them have daughters? That is wild. Do you guys think it's your karma? That's what I was going to say. They say it's a <laughs> karma. <laughs> it's, karma. I've heard more than one guy say that his karma was that he ended up with da- daughters. I was like, that is a really fucked up way of looking at things. Yeah, I concur. Yeah. It's a blessing. I agree. Yeah. I don't think it's karma. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga's an idiot. Fucking karma, oh my Just god! The way the pendulum swung. That's Speaking all. of reading the room, did nah, y'all? That, that mm-hmm. mean that that mean that somebody was on top getting busy, right? What they what they say? <laughs> the <laughs> positions and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. That's some bullshit too. <laughs> Where the moon was. Depends. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What you saying? Man? I was saying. Speaking of reading the room, y'all listened to uh, the Cameron and Mace. Um, I did. Interview. Well, not interview, but clip. just them, the clip of mm-hmm. them talking. You guys were yucking it up over there. We were? Uh, I mean, yeah, you were, you were giggling. Look at this one right here. No, no, honestly, the first time I heard it, I was like, yo, I wonder if we were single on this podcast, what the stories would be. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Cam and Mace uh, released a clip where they were talking about them running a train on a girl. And I thought it was hilarious. They getting a lot of pushback for that's, it. That's how I like my sports shows. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. Batman. 
<laughs> but yeah, tennis. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so they get a lot of flack for it. The uh, the story was funny. Mel played it for me and Ice, and me and Ice over here laughing, and she was sitting there like, or <laughs> 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 she do that shit when she was like this. <laughs> so be no, that's funny, huh? That's it, funny. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. Be an ice over here die. What was said in the clip? I forgot. I don't have it. Mel, you got the clip? I I said it to the pod group. <laughs> oh, okay, so, oh, I got you. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. I don't I don't have the clip. How long is the clip? It's it's quick. Short. It's so quick. basically he talks about <laughs> I'll let y'all hear it because I don't want to be the uh Well Mel, what do you think about it? I mean, I was just like, uh, niggas, read the fucking room. Not you guys, obviously. I mean, like, clearly it's locker room talk. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, like, considering what just came down the pipeline, all these sexual harassment and assault lawsuits and stuff like that, this was, this wasn't even in poor taste. This was just, potentially, you might get, be getting yourself in fucking trouble. And well, they're, they're, they're going to extend it. <laughs> we, we, we all were passionate. Y'all remember one time? Y'all okay, remember my man let me talk about the past. We was in the whorehouse one time, me and Murder. Me and Murder was in this whorehouse. So we left the bitch, we took the bitch out the whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> I had a crib on 144th, little stash crib over there between something and something, Lennox. We bought this bitch over there. And <laughs> so Mace was kind of on the way up. He ain't have his deal, but he's popping like it's about to happen. And I'm his man, because you know, we still all of them. So the bitch suck, pardon me, lady. Like, we already talking bitch without. She sucking his dick. <laughs> Clean it nah, up. wait. Pause. <laughs> 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 Gang <banging> bitches. <laughs> to get my dick sucked. Because I'm not hard yet, pause. I thought y'all said this was I a quick clip. I ain't getting hard on such a his dick. <laughs> <laughs> so when he start hitting it, I go get head. Yeah. And so she giving me head, he hitting it from the back. And he started hitting her saying, you wasn't sucking my dick <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, mm-hmm. but you you know Cam is animated. So That's Cam, funny. So Cam like he was <laughs> so he started punching it, like hitting the girl like so it was funny. Mel was looking at us like. So what you think about it, Mel? Like I said, it is clearly locker room talk, and y'all should be able to say whatever the fuck you want. Refer to women however you want to. When it, is that meant for public consumption? Like considering. What just what we've just been listening to stories upon stories of women coming forward and talking about the fact that that is not exactly the way that I remember that story happening. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's right what you're doing. I don't think that's right. Well, who's doing? What's you doing? I don't what? think that's right. Like, I, them niggas clearly went to a whorehouse yeah. and took somebody up out of there. Says them. And but That's who told and, the story. And, and, but that's and. Who just, but that's who told I the story. I get that. I get that. So, of course it says them. Who else is, is there? Is there, is, there a, is there a distinct possibility that there may have been underage girls in that whorehouse? Oh, hey, come on. Come on now. Oh, oh, that's this. crazy. I don't know what you're doing. That's yeah. crazy. disgusting what you're doing. Yeah, that's do crazy. That, we know that's crazy. That. What are you doing? Okay. I am not going to land that plane. Just uh, That plane should that, have never even took that's off. That's not a plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's not, a boat. It's crazy. not even wings on that bitch. <laughs> no pilot. No nothing. No cockpit. A, what are you doing? Not even a drone. That was, that was a little crazy. Yeah, okay. you wow. I ain't hold you. I ain't know where you was going. I don't know what the Canadian whorehouses are like. I don't know. I've never been to a whorehouse. I couldn't tell you. So why, so would, why you would you say, say something that, like that? that? There was underage girls. If in you've it. never been to our house, then why would you say that? I guess because I watched like a lot of stories on sex trafficking victims and shit like that, talking about how they ended up in situations like that kind of situation where they ended up in said whorehouses and stuff like that and how they got there. I think that's where I get I've gotten the information from. So is, I've is, like interviewed sex trafficking recovery experts and shit like that. So not to serious us out or anything like that, but, you know, <laughs> but yeah. So I mean, I think that, that's where, that's where I kind of like get the information from. I got to look at somebody. 
<laughs> okay, but I'm just going to ask you, you guys don't think that considering the, at, you know, the current state, the atmosphere that we're in right now, that that was in poor taste to put on the podcast, it being a sports related, more sports podcast than anything? Man, that shit was funny, man. Yeah, was, <laughs> let him come. I thought it was funny. Yeah, 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 let let him come. Okay. All right. Hey. Now, if they're detailing a crime, and then we find out later, then I guess that's... But I don't get that from this. Yeah, yeah I don't, my I don't brain doesn't immediately go to... This These list. are the stories I want to tell about me and Ish every pod. Because that nigga... <laughs> <laughs> that nigga right there, boy. The way he used to... You hear this nigga, y'all? Oh, man. That nigga used to get up with the escorts without me. He was having a blast. <laughs> For the free. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yo, anyway, yo, this guy is crazy. Though. Anyway, on that. <laughs> oh, shit, that was a good segue. That was great. That was great. That's crazy, dog. I'm good. <laughs> Yo, it's really that was crazy, crazy, crazy. Yo. long reach, long, long reach. Okay. Yo, I'm telling you, the way that women say uh, men don't need podcast mics, women on these podcast mics, you say some bullshit. <laughs> Not you, Bell. Ooh, but, yeah, yeah. No, you too. You too. <laughs> no, 100 percent you too. The women on these podcast <laughs> mics. <laughs> Get to inviting other women on, <laughs> agreeing with them, giving them space to say bullshit. Oh, my God. You mean like their truth? Yes. Or a mm -hmm. hypothetical yeah. that wasn't well, nowhere, nowhere near yeah. presented. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all truth Oh, is I like, know you're not talking about hypotheticals. Y'all You are is, the king of uh, fucking yeah. hypotheticals. But I wouldn't bring that one in there. Hypothetically, it could have been some underage girls in the yeah, room. that's crazy. I wouldn't do that one. <laughs> that, that's Yeah, girl truth is like girl math. <laughs> What's that? Yo, what one plus that? one equals seventeen. <laughs> Green. Eleven. You see the no, two it ones, no, right? it don't even be numbers. <laughs> one plus one equals blue. This nigga's stupid, yo. <laughs> right when I was about to get some snuggle time last night, me and my girl end up fighting about Keith Lee. <laughs> That's a wild. Yo, you gotta stop potting at some point, bro. Yeah, yeah. You gotta turn that shit off. <laughs> you can't bring the pot to the yo. bedroom. <laughs> Content is not that important. He I blasted, promise. He blasted Turkey Leg Hut. Yo, yo. So Keith Lee went to Houston. And did uh -huh. he diss the one of our restaurants? No, he has rave reviews for mm -hmm. Houston. Mm -hmm. Okay. Has done it. There's very good food in Houston. Has done it. Yeah, Houston is. That dessert it's spot. There, yeah. I saw that. That shit was crazy. Yeah. 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 Eating Houston is a blessing. Uh -huh. He went out there and, and had a time. Okay. And did a lot for some small businesses. Yes. He did the Keith Lee thing mm -hmm. out there. That Keith which Lee is cool. effect is real. I was trying to stay away from all of that stuff. So we in the bed. I put the little Joe station on. Here comes Jesus. Here comes Conway. Here comes Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she was laying down and she wanted to go put her phone down, but she was watching Keith Lee because he was in Houston. She's in Houston. Mm hmm. And right when she put her phone down, I heard Keith Lee say, yeah, I've never heard brown stew chicken. So, da, 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 da. And I said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? It's so time. I said, did, did Keith Lee just say you never had brown stew chicken? <laughs> I said that. And she said, yeah. I said, you don't see a problem with that? What type of food critic are you? She said, no. I said, you don't see a problem that the food critic has never had brown stew chicken. She said, don't take this on your part. They're going to kill you. Now, mind you, she's a big Keith Lee fan. She said, don't you go in there and say this. I'm trying to save you. I said, I'm not saying nothing wrong. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want, if the wine taster never had Riesling. Or a Merlot in their life. That would be a big yeah. thing. Yeah. Sure. And we fought over that. Or even a more <laughs> obscure wine. We fought over that for the next 10 minutes yeah. and then slept with our backs to each other. This nigga Keith Lee got you out the box. <laughs> fuck you, Keith she Lee. She thought I was nuts and she thought I should shut the fuck up and not say nothing about that. I thought that that was so weird. That I weird. wholeheartedly that agree with you. I agree with yeah. you. I agree with She's saying you don't have to have had Sorry, Jamaican food to be a uh, food critic, right? Like you could have it in real time and give your thoughts on it or you could have something that you never ate before or that you just don't eat. True. Like, I agree with like that. Like Keith this Lee don't it. eat seafood. He's not a big seafood guy. Mm -hmm. And his fans know that. So she's talking from that. And I'm saying, cool. 
But brown stew yeah. chicken. Brown stew chicken is. You like, keep talking like it's octopus or some yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's true. All right, so I'm not. So no, you're not crazy. No, 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 no. crazy at all. We all Ooh, agree with that. All right, thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Like we said curry goat. Yeah. Okay, maybe that. Dog, yeah. some Japanese pancakes came across on my feed the other day. I think I might have sent them. The shit is like the this. big fluffy ones. They're like this big. It look like biscuit, yo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? They're so good. I, from what so I'm the hearing. Ste- the steroid pancakes. Nah, it's the way they make up. I'm the no, the shit, yeast, but they said the shit is dope. Yeah. I never had them. Oh, they need to make an opera version of that. <laughs> 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 but that's something that would be odd. Like everybody hasn't had that. Right. In my opinion, brown stew chicken is just like that's regular. That's regular. Yeah. Pork chop. That's Ian, like yeah. having a- Ian sent me some shit this morning that was an omelet with some lobster and crab in it and like a pound of caviar on top. He's like, "Oh, doesn't this look good?" I'm like, "No, nigga, they did a lot to some eggs." Yeah. <laughs> like I like my eggs. Eggy, like eggs. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, eggy. Yeah, it's a spot, the that, it's a spot that I go to. I get a mean seafood omelet, and they got lobster, crab meat, all of that shit. I'm, that not, the, shit. I'm not the biggest omelet guy. I'm a seafood guy. If it's seafood, you can tell me whatever. I'm, How can that be? I don't know. I'm a seafood person. But you so like eggs. I, I love mean. eggs. But you don't like omelets. That's the biggest omelet I'm there guy. with you. Yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me fuck, my. I want my. I want my, my eggs and my ingredients on separate spots, and then mix them together myself. I don't like when you on vacation and it's the omelet maker and all the fucking white people is over there putting all the bad mushrooms. I want some. I want some onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need all that white ass. Nah, y'all bugging. You want all that? White people love omelets. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that line be longer. Especially if they can put some mushrooms and tomatoes on that shit. Yeah, they got all that mushrooms. Ham. Oh, they be having it. The diced up ham. Yep. Little cheese. Ugh. I'm good. Yes, sir. You Fuck. can put cheese in the eggs now, but I just don't like all the ingredients nah, in the eggs. It's, it's, a, it's a wrap. I, put I the, get it. I don't, like wraps like I, don't, I don't like wraps either. I don't like wraps. It's just an egg wrap. Like You got a spinach wrap. You got a whole wheat wrap or tortilla wrap. Wraps are wrap. trash, too. Is it? Oh, so oh, you don't fuck with wraps. On. I don't fuck with wraps. Wraps are trash. Oh, wraps are trash, man. <laughs> Oh, What's nah. going on? Give me bread. He wants the whole I want bread. bread. I want fucking bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the mountains, bro. I want some fucking bread. It's from the mountains. Hard taco or soft taco. I want all this I want fancy shit. Too, but a wrap is not bad. Wait, you it's want a, a soft taco, but you but don't, don't like want rap. a wrap? That's a fact. It's the same, it's shit. same shit. One just closed and thing. one open? Yeah. It's different. I like burritos, yeah. too. It's not a wrap. Yo, what? What is it? A burrito is not a wrap. It's its own thing. <laughs> all right, though. You got it. <laughs> It's this old thing. Yeah, what the it? fuck is a Chipotle burrito? That's a burrito. That's a fucking wrap. That's not it's a wrap. A, why is it not a wrap? Because they ain't put like lettuce and shit it's, in there. Oh, they got lettuce, lettuce in burritos. It's lettuce that's in the burrito. True. But you could put anything in a wrap. I know. That's and, the problem. And, and, and you can put too much shit in the, in the wrap. <laughs> yo, yo, I don't want none of that shit. Yo, you can work for, with somebody for 15 <laughs> years. I know. Rats are no trash. They don't them. like rats. Rats are trash. <laughs> I might get some fucking Chipotle today. What's <laughs> wrong with you? Like? Rats are trash. Burritos <laughs> burrito. are excellent. Tacos are excellent. They are not wraps. Yeah, they are said, separate things. It might be some white shit. Yo, you sound like my girl. <laughs> <laughs> My I think white shit people like that raps. stubborn shit that don't make no sense. I think raps are white people shit, honestly. Fam, what the fuck is the difference? The, I, I don't, don't know, know the, the difference. difference between a burrito and a, a rap. A rap. And a soft shell taco is the same if you close it. You just close it. You roll it over one more time. It's, it's a burrito. It's a burrito. That's or, or but this is troubling because Park's family is a restaurant family, so that means that they're spreading this knowledge. No, they, <laughs> they serve rats. I never heard of them. It's him. He's stubborn, yo. I just don't care for the rat. He sounds Give me a fucking fuck. sandwich. <laughs> Put it on some bread. Some bread. <laughs> <laughs> or on a plate. Um, I can use a fork. This guy's nuts. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's the stubborn Get shit. some wraps out of here, man. Speaking stubborn. of sandwiches, this new thing they're they doing, or that I'm seeing anyway, in some of these New York bodegas, they're making your ham, cheese, salami, or whatever. And they chopping it all up. They make a chopped cheese sandwich out of everything? Oh, yes. Uh, I've never seen them do it. Coming that shit yeah, looks you ain't been to my hood. Sandwiches mm-hmm. Unlimited. No. Yes, What's sir. There? What's there? That's good for black people. Real sandwiches. Yeah. Boy, in, in, Newark is a sandwich? Say, yeah. say some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even in Newark. Oh, it ain't in Newark. He ain't in Newark. I was he ain't in there last in night. Oh, 30 right. years. I was there last night. He ain't been in Newark in a long time. I was at Sandwiches Unlimited last night. Okay, but you ain't been in Newark in a long time. I was in Newark yesterday. Okay, before that. Yesterday, <laughs> the day before that, you moved out of Newark early. I'm in Newark every day. I said you moved out of Newark early. No, I did. I was grown. 
You've been grown for a while. Was <laughs> 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 it that early? <laughs> <What's going? laughs> when you moved out of Newark? I was twenty. Twenty. All right, all right. Yo, it's getting the Matrix. All right. So you moved out of Newark early. Yeah, nigga shot me. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, my nigga. I respect that. <laughs> yeah. That's some real shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I gotta, gotta go. go. Yeah. I gotta keep, keep it real. Yeah, keep fuck it fuck in real going wrong, nigga. Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what you say happened in Jersey City? A nigga didn't shot me and I never went back. Close enough, right? A little too close. <laughs> there you go. A little there too you go. Close. A little too close for comfort. Ran, you right about that Dairy Queen. <laughs> that was not Dairy Queen. <laughs> yo. <laughs> right, yo. I almost got it on in front of Dairy Queen, actually, too, before. That's I was lie. with you one That's time. We almost got some shit at that dumbass Dairy Queen. That Dairy Queen used to be hot a little bit. Yeah. It used to be hot a little bit. Who fights in front of Dairy Queen? Who, that's not the Niggas. place that you think you need to. Niggas. With Niggas. The lactose Good ass ice cream right here. You gonna just be beefing with a nigga. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about? hot, nigga. <laughs> can I get my double cone, nigga, with the rainbow sprinkles? I don't want no beef. Stupid I ain't even do nigga. the Hagen dogs like I'm usually doing in the summertime. Them milkshakes. Pretty mm. cream. Oh my God, Hagen dogs. So you in a relationship? Well, that usually that mean, you eat more no, ice cream in relationships. Here. Nah, but you go to Hagen Dazs and get to, you know what I mean, when you be on a date. That's a date with my girl, though. Yeah, no, yes. no, 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 listen. But we take that for granted. We ain't, you know yeah, mean? we don't do it. Yeah. Me and you used to. <laughs> that little pralines and cream yeah. on that promenade. Got em. Why you don't break up? Why you don't break up with your girl for one week? It would have been so easy to do after Malcolm X or the opera. <laughs> <laughs> that fight was right there. It was right that fight there. was right there in the room. Yeah. Hold up. I miss Pod. I miss Pod giving for this. They over there lit. <laughs> this nigga stupid. Yeah, yeah. we could really pod. You were, but you won't pod. Who won't pod? It stop, yo. This nigga be acting like, yo. Stop, shut man. up, yo. Knock it man. off, bro. Please. Come on, let's move on, man. <laughs> this nigga here, yo. I used to almost see this nigga at Hagen Dawes by mistake. What you doing over here? <laughs> you know, they don't even live over here. <laughs> yes, I do. It's <laughs> <laughs> going to Hagen Dawes in the town. Don't he don't even live in. <laughs> Big nigga don't live over here. I had 17 residences, nigga. Right by the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> It was one time we was recording. Uh, we had the party at Park's crib. I was thinking about getting a crib and a story to do fuck shit. That's a good spot for it. That ain't a bad spot for it. That's mm. one of the best spots for it. Mm. Facts. Yeah, that shit. Let's see, right there. That shit has come a long way. A little strip right there. Since I've been there. We had a girl Shoot. dads on the like, woo! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> look at here, these girl dads over here. So, so guess what happens? When your daughter say, Dad, I'm going to a story, you be like, you going to a story, what? See? Nah, them niggas Joe and them be over there. <laughs> oh shit! Keep your ass for real. niggas like Imani, <laughs> niggas like Fur. Stay away from them niggas, no sir. If I had a daughter, she, she I'd raise her like fucking Gabby. What's that little white girl? The mom made her think she had all this shit going on. Oh shit! Mom, <laughs> 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 Yo, do you hear this? In that case? <laughs> she in a wheelchair for no reason. <laughs> 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 I'll fix all that whole face shit up real quick. You want to go through that flipping? No, that ain't gonna work. Come on, let's go to the doctor get these pills. You're not right. You're not right. You 17 placebo pills. No, they're giving her the real shit. You lied. Yes, they was. They fucked that girl up. That gypsy girl, right? Yeah, gypsy rose. Gypsy rose. Gypsy rose. Yo. Gypsy Rose was fucked up. That's oh, crazy. dude. Yeah, my daughter. Perfectly healthy. My daughter. Fucked up. That, that'll be me. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that you? You said you'll let her date the 6 9 nigga. Well, I don't if, even want if, no 6 9 nigga work. having sex with my daughter. Go get you some 5 yo. 8 nigga with little meat when you get grown <laughs> and let that nigga do some. Do you want a 6 9 is you crazy? Are you measuring yo, up the boy? You are nuts, yo. <laughs> yo, you are yo, hold nuts. Hold on, hold on, homeboy. What you, what you, what you, what you working with? Nah, you too big. Nah, you too big. Nah, nah, we ain't doing that. It's it's too too big. Big. So now you want the square like, nigga to have a little dick. <laughs> See. So you don't want the best for your daughter. <laughs> you don't that know. ain't the best. Who said? All right, forget it, yo. They don't know that. You don't have no references. Oh, you're a big motion in the ocean guy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
<laughs> Quiet is kept. Oh, Us girls, when it came to the first time, we did want a little Peter Weeder to break it in. You don't Nobody know. Nobody wants to Peter break Weeder it in on a nine incher. Some... Nobody. Why you talking about the first time? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're aren't we talking about the first time? Kinda sorta. Yeah. I never thought that. Fam, what I'm we saying just is this. We about the 6 9 nigga coming to beat it down. We didn't <laughs> no, say that was the no, first. But you guys are talking about her no, first. No, her no. first, right? What you going to do? You know the older you get, you get shorter, right? So now you 5'5 five, five opening the door. Talking about something. <laughs> How big is your dick, son? <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, short guys are tripods. Short guys are tripods. I know you. <laughs> she always got fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just you letting it get it off. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I'm saying. Rock on, rock on. Your oh, science shit. is flawed. I'm just telling Yo, you. You're so, <laughs> so corny. Your <laughs> science is flawed. It was a joke. Yo, go okay. some, I just don't want no 6'9 nigga nowhere around my baby. And don't put that in the civil suit. He forced, <laughs> he forced us to drink at work. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Shit. Holy oh, shit! Man. Oh, fuck, you crazy? Man. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> I do want to ask a question. Let's hear it. All right, here we it's go. This, this is when the bullshit starts. Yeah. But it don't have to be like that. If I can just get a direct answer from Mel and we move on, it'll, ah. it'll be a quick hit. A Mel question. Wait, God. wait. A direct answer from Mel. Direct answer. Mm. I'm gonna try. Is it a yes or no question? <laughs> Don't matter. No. <laughs> okay. I'll try not to meander. I'm 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 thinking about uh, I'm thinking about uh, mine and Ish's glory days back in the day, man. Mm. Okay. And it begged the question: How many times do you think you've been? How do, you, how do I ask this, man? Fuck. Somebody's city stop off. Excuse me? Nothing. Go on. A city store? That's... Go, go, go. Just keep, keep going. City stop. Don't it just... It... Do you think that anyone has ever plotted to jump you? Jump, jump me as in physically? No. What? Like, two people were like, you know two what? Two good looking gentlemen. We we can funny we, and charming. We can we can cake, and dance, suave. Cake, caked up, smelling good. We can get the nice tri- cars, nice cribs. We can get the trisma thing you pop. Yeah, I mean, fucking you talk. Not even not even that, but just a little, little lightweight <laughs> little, jump, little one two. You mean not at the same time though? Yeah. At the same time? No. Like well, we both could get that. Yeah, we both plot. A thousand percent. Absolutely. Yeah, of course, of course I. Plotted on, fuck yeah! Damn, your escapability. Hmm? She got out of there. All of them, all of there. <laughs> yeah. Nobody ever almost likes to see him. What? All right. Mm. Nobody ever like made it like second base on the jump. Time out. <laughs> Is she making all these fucking faces? I'm, Go ahead. Nah, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of getting, I need a little clarity. And so do I. That's why, I, this, hence the faces. Because I thought you was talking about Juju. No, I wouldn't talk to her like that. Uh-oh. I wouldn't That's talk to her like that. Oh, you mean like Eskimo brother jump? Yeah. Oh, you've been Eskimo brother. Yeah, of course. She might not know. She That's know. why I was asking. Yeah, exactly. You know, right? Ain't there something you probably. You probably know something. Yeah. Yeah. Like after history reveals itself, you're like, oh, y'all know you see each them other? too. Oh shit! Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you heard the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the deep voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's definitely once. been a yeah. scenario in which I turned to Cousins, motherfuckers brothers. into Eskimo brothers, and they didn't know. Whoa! Whoa. Intentionally? Yes. Plot twist. Whoa! Absolutely. Oh, no. so she jumped gentlemen. them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I turned two gentlemen into Eskimo brothers, and they didn't. know. You were two niggas on the hit list. <laughs> Pity them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh darn! darn. Everybody you got that all. You got that all. Oh, you sure you showed, got that all. You, you really <laughs> showed them. Who, who was the boss? <laughs> you won that one, Angela. Yeah. I'm sure they learned their lesson. Is there ever a situation? Is there, no, but seriously, is there ever a situation for you guys in which there's more niggas than there is lessons. somebody that you would not want to be Eskimo brothers with? 
What was the question? <laughs> is there ever a scenario in which you found out you were Eskimo Yo, bros with somebody and I'm you were need, just like, oh, I'm going to need you this? to start answering these questions. She's talking to you. No, she's nah, not. She's talking the to room, us. y'all. <laughs> this nigga be sitting over here and I can hear his brain. <laughs> poke. My answer is yes. What say them? What say you? I don't care I, if I go first. <laughs> what if you didn't? Wait, what? I, Eskimo Yo, brothers, girl, right? Girl dads are crazy. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> let, let, let me explain. Yeah. Let me, hold on, hold on. Let me answer. Let me explain. This. Look, look at both of them. <laughs> Eskimo brothers. We ain't talking about a jump, right? Uh, yeah. No. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, most times I don't care. But. What? As, I listen, don't give I'm a about fuck. to explain. Shut the no, fuck up. No, let me explain. My yo. nigga, what? You judge a girl by who they fuck. We definitely have judged girls by who they fuck. So you'd be like, oh, damn, he hit it? I don't even know if I want to hit it no more. That's you know, definitely it, true. It, it, speak for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm with ice on this one. It depends on how bad I want to hit it. Nah, it depends on the quality. I don't give a fuck. It man. depends on the quality nigga. of the nigga. It, it, would, have, it would have to be a real bad, and, like. If this is something I wanted so, to check off. That's why I said it don't, I don't give like, a fuck. I know he's if got I go first. Oh, well. You know. <laughs> like, if I went first. Wait, what? I said it would have to be real bad. Like, I know he's got herpes or some shit. Like, oh, no. I'm talking about, like, if I went first, then I went first. But if you fuck just a couple dill dusty niggas. Yeah, that's going to got herpes. Yep. That's wild. But he said to me, no. Like, yo, your value gonna fall to me. Mm -hmm. you know I'm not I'm trying to. I'm just still, he's still, bro. If I know a couple little dusty, dusty niggas that pop, I popped a little couple dusty, dusty chicks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it. I don't give a fuck about yeah, that. If I, if I just wanted to pop, to if I just wanted to pop and that was it, I'm not, this ain't nothing I'm trying to wife up. Or I just, I, damn, I wanna fuck up. I was that shit don't matter. To I me. was disappointed when I first learned that me and Bow Wow was Eskimo brothers, <laughs> and then I learned that we just had a deep family, <laughs> deep <laughs> deep family tree. Like I kept bumping into this yeah, nigga. Don't play. And at that don't point, play. once you bump into a nigga like seven, eight times, it's like, oh, right, I respect. Give him his credit. I yeah. respect it. That get that we, we, we here now. Yeah. Cause we might hold a nigga in a certain, you know what I mean? Like low regard. Yes. And, and that then nigga you see be his out roster, here, and he's a like, sniper. And that nigga is a sniper. Yeah, we had a sniper here. You heard what he told you. Mm -hmm. Who's it? We had a bunch of snipers here. No, but no, we had a particular. A, we had an A one sniper here. We've had a few though. We did. Who you talking <laughs> about? Look, <laughs> no, 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 no. look. Oh no, he's. And he said, "Yo, <laughs> don't even compare me with these niggas." He said, yo, stop. Them the ones no, you know. Yo, that sniper me. Yeah, he said, compare me to Leo. Me. He said, no, yo, he compare said, me to me. Justin T and Leo. He was like. Take me out of hip sniper hop. Sniper means you, he hit you and you don't know. He, he said, yo, a sniper is, the, you don't hit a gun, you, you just see the body drop. I don't want none of my Eskimo brothers to have a black scent. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you yeah. Go. yeah, there are some things You're the only child, you child nigga. <laughs> <laughs> there are some things if you cool. find out about your Eskimo brothers, it's like, all right, ma, you're done, you're done till now. You're done till now. You know what I'm saying? Now you're done. Yeah, you're the only child. Yeah, Eskimo brothers got black scent. Mine? Oh. How many you want me to name? <laughs> With a black scent? Give me some. I can't think of none. All right, cool. Off my. Oh, that's peak pardon. <laughs> <laughs> that's peak, that's peak pod, podman shit right nah, there. Nah, I just buddy. don't want to put nobody business. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. a little to the side or something. No, that's not a black scent. You know what a black, black scent is? A black scent is that shit Justin Timberlake was doing. Oh, I know. I ain't know what you yeah. No, no, no. I'm wrong. Pardon me. Yeah, all right. You scared me. No. I was about to, <laughs> I was about to call some of the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you let Terry Bone? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tell me about the time y'all was out with your, uh, with your significant other and she thought that the waitress was hitting on you. Oh, my God. That shit is annoying. <laughs> that shit is annoying. Because why does that always happen? You said which time? Tell me about the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, every time. No, not every day. Uh, Most of them. And how many times was she right? Because yeah, sometimes you guys seem like really ob oblivious when a chick is hitting on you. See, this is the thing. I'm so, um, I like kind of go out my way to be overwhelmingly nice. 
to even oh, if I'm at shit. Wendy's and I can't see you and I hear you, I like try to be as polite as possible. Oh, shit like are you that. nice to the little Wendy's? So girl. I don't know if it's them being nice or you them flirting. <laughs> I can't kind of tell. Even even when I'm at Wendy's, I'm nice. No, to I, them. I meant like I can't see you. Like it's over the it's through the drive through. I can't see them, so I ain't like I'm flirting. They flirting. You gotta come oh. around to the window and see a nigga. But yeah, but they oh. they don't know what you look like. So you nice at the drive through speaker? Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to bag at the yeah. speaker. Get him the this fuck nigga out love talking. You know? This nigga is odd. <laughs> he had to drive through the speaker. I thought you meant the window. No, man. he's weird. I'm weird. How you, how you, hey, ma'am, how are you? Yes. No, I'm well. Sir, just make your fucking order. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. No, I'm well Do today. Do you, you want a tea or not? <laughs> you fucking start oh. fucking. Sir, the line is long. You're holding up the line. Hey, Can you man. get your bitch ass out of the window, please? This ain't Chick-fil-A. Get the fuck out of here. Sir, you know what? Pull your car over to over there. We're going to make it and bring it right out to you. The fuck? Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Sir, get the fuck out of my line. Yo, that's funny. Mad times. I think my girl looks at it differently than I do. I think women just judge it differently. Yeah, they do. They yeah. do. And then they tell us we don't know because we we're not know. women. I know women. You don't know. I'll be like, all right. Like, I know. She was being way too nice to you. Or she wanted a nice shit. She's a server, yeah. Just... Yeah, she know who paying. Right. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. You want her to be nice to you? <laughs> there you go. That part. And I order mad easy. Yo, let me get a ribeye, medium, potatoes, and spinach. You have sauteed? Great. <laughs> Here you come. I want cheese, but not cheese. Long, uh, <laughs> the long ass. Uh, they start asking. Um, what do you is, like? What do you, what do you like on here? the menu? What do you suggest? Oh what do you, is I suggest you order what the fuck you want. <laughs> is there a way to put mushrooms on this? But only the top of the mushroom, cut the bottom, because I'm allergic to the bottom of the mushroom. When I, when I was younger, I had a really bad mushroom accident. <laughs> <laughs> I want asparagus, but not the tip. <laughs> Why oh, girls order man. like that? Oh, I'm that is funny, son. I just be looking at the waiter like I know. Sorry, you, yeah, yeah. Listen, you got to be nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. There'll be a little extra. I'm gonna take care of you. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah, take care you. of you. Just be tolerant, you. Just, please. I'm gonna take care of you. This is everywhere. It's not you. Oh man. Is there any way you can make this without this? You, without this key ingredient, ma'am, it's called, That's a it's called lasagna, steak. ma'am. No, I can't make without cheese. <laughs> no, no ma'am. Uh, no. Oh, but the man. chef can't just do a special. Girls are annoying. Oh, order man. food, man. The worst. And that's after they figure out what they want. Well, then, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Cause I know what I want, and I got here starving. Oh, and the waiter yeah, came over here three times and said, "You ready? You ready? No, we need another minute. <laughs> uh, no, we don't. Yo, your fam, you're on your fifth leche martini. Order some food. <laughs> <my name. laughs> Fuck. Then they get to talk and tell the story. Now the waiter come back. Hey, you guys decided yet? Oh shit, I haven't. I even ain't picked, even looking. I at haven't even picked it up <laughs> since, <laughs> the, since the last time you was here. I haven't well, even. Well, bitch, what the hell <laughs> have you been doing <laughs> besides running your fucking mouth? <laughs> Shut that trap. Oh, Drinking shit. my lychee martini, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I'm hungry. Man, my lychee <laughs> stomach is about to turn it. Yo, fuck. Damn. Women, we yo. really all <laughs> see? The same. I'm glad yeah, we experienced yeah, this, y'all. Yeah. And that's even before you picked the restaurant. Oh, shit. No, nah, nah, you have to pick. You can't even. There's no more of that, no more for me. Yeah, I don't do that. Yo, where do you, you want to go here? I don't care anywhere. All right, cool. Well, I don't really like that. Mm hmm. <laughs> so it's not And then, then so it's, it's not anywhere. No wait 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 Then when you do the Am I annoying you? No I'm just starving <laughs> Starving By the way some ramen yo <laughs> My girl is like that on Uber Eats Yep same, Oh yeah, 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 yeah It might be worse And, yeah, and, and I think it worse. might be worse For some reason she act like She don't have Uber Eats on her phone <laughs> <laughs> So there's nothing I can do right So yeah Come on we gotta eat Here baby Man, that phone about to be there for 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for them silent texts. <laughs> right? <laughs> fuck, fuck around, right? Your girl might see a text. <laughs> <laughs> might see a text to fuck up her day. <laughs> she ain't even got an appetite. She ain't hungry no more now. She ain't hungry. No, ain't no more food. No, 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 she ain't hungry. Don't need no eating in here tonight. <laughs> Yes, niggas oh, are full, shit. son. Yeah. Then she ordered the food an hour later. Then she get the message, nigga, bitch, we closed. <laughs> we closed. Yeah. Now I'm sitting here starving. <laughs> and and once she finally picked, I really wanted that now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now I'm ready. Oh, yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. 
Cuban peace. Let's get it. Place this oh, order closed. for 12 a.m. tomorrow. God damn it. <laughs> Cursing them out. You be mad at the restaurant. This Word. fucking bum ass restaurant gonna close at 10 o'clock. No, nigga. You was 845 when you got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, man. All right, what else? What else we got? That's mm-hmm. important, unimportant, near and dear to our hearts and souls. I see something that might be near and dear to ish, but Mel, you wrote it. Uh, yeah, so What's there's... What's going on? I just wondered, like, the Home Depot bo- boycott everybody's kind of talking about. I no. Know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ish. Ish. I don't know about that. Ish ain't been to Home Depot in ages. I've been to Home oh, Depot last sh- week. Two days... You went everywhere two I days ago. I was Home Depot Monday. A lot, <laughs> lot of shit. No, he did a lot two days ago. Home Depot Monday. I don't know what boycott they talking about. Uh, they're just talking about the fact that the owner of uh, um, Home Depot basically said that regardless of the outcome of Trump's um, court cases, he will still pledge a bunch of money to his campaign. And some of these cases are sexual assault cases. He was like, I don't give a fuck. He's getting my money. So a lot of people are feeling like, Boycott Home Depot, and I was just like, mm-hmm. "You can't. Mm-hmm. You can you go to Lowe's. You go to Lowe's. You go to Lowe's. That ain't enough of them, especially in New Jersey. You fuck. So it's yo, yo, what we gonna do? We gonna build these houses? Or y'all niggas gonna be political? I just counted the Lowe's two days ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Try counting the depots. <laughs> you run out of fingers. Like what the fuck in New Jersey? I, I don't know about the other states, but I, I mean, it just speaks volumes to power. These mm-hmm. motherfuckers feel like they don't got to follow nobody's rules, but they own. Yeah. Cut. What you think, I mean, man? I was about to say something. What you funny, think? But, but. She's not going to Home Depot anymore. I mean, I don't really go to Home Depot. I, that was it's joke. not really my jam. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So what do you think? But if you need that closet fix, you, where are you going to go? I mean, there's power in there's power in the dollar, and like I think that if enough people... No, I don't think it would matter, actually. No. So you're going to go to Home Depot, right? I don't see the boycott being successful. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's already 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 knew where the CEO of Home Depot stood when it came to his political affiliations and the fact that he donated money to Trump's campaign. You know, so since 2016, so. I didn't know, nor did yeah, I, I particularly care. Listen, this topic is lighting the phone lines up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they are calling nonstop, <laughs> wanting to engage about the Home Depot boycott. sexual abuse boycott. Boy. Yeah. Yo, Ice, why don't you tell me about your Steeler, man? Oh, man. So my guy, Ryan, Ryan Shazier, got caught out there, man. What happened, man? His wife, it looked like it was through the iPad. Was being nosy, minding some business that wasn't hers. I mean, yeah. Is it not her business? No, it's not her business. It was his iPad. Okay. His iPad is not her business. Okay. And his, his dick ain't? He didn't fuck that girl. Oh, which one? Yeah, just <laughs> conversation he was having. He was just flirting a little bit. He was communicating. I mean, she was flirting. He, oh, he was he being was a just, nice guy. Oh, but yeah. But um, she went and it was just funny to me because she didn't even screenshot the shits. Like she took her phone and took pictures of the iPad screen. It's probably an Android. <laughs> he should have too. Touche. <laughs> well, uh, uh, See, yeah, He should have too. Had his shit logged in, but yeah, got caught. You know, and everybody's making a big deal out of it because. She stood by him when he went through his injury and his rehabilitation. Well, that's good looking. Yeah, but he's healthy now, right? Yeah. I need so I need a, a dummy to nurse me back to cheating stat cheating status. <laughs> and I mean, like, <laughs> you know, you got a second look on life. You might want to cheat. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been, After I've been through something so traumatic, yeah, I can't I can't like, get a little cheat. Or just like you say, damn, life's short. I always did want to. After any major health complication, cheating is coming right after for me. Heart attack, <laughs> fucking, what else What else you can get? <laughs> Colon cleanse. No. <laughs> right after that, a cheat is coming. Why is that the reward? Who said it's anything about the reward? Because that sounds like you're, re- you're rewarding yourself. For no, it. you're taking advantage of life. I'm living life. I'm shortness. living my life like it's golden, like uh, NDRE said. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good move. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to buy yourself like a cake? He did, sort of. He and, did, and, and, and eat it too. Different Kish. types of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what my thing is. <laughs> Let me see if I got. It. <laughs> he, he bought cake guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh. And pound <laughs> pound cake. <laughs> oh man, yo! Man, she she should have kept her nose out of the iPad, man. That's what all it sounds like to me. Oh, it was Jill Scott. Just got what? The, Said living my life like it's golden. Oh. 
Oh, Jill took that from India. <laughs> <laughs> she went over there. <laughs> nigga, when niggas be wrong, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Both oh, you didn't know about that? Yeah, yeah both said. Oh, I know the other version. I wasn't even talking about that. Jill would call up here, my bad. Oh, man. <laughs> I knew man. somebody lived their life like it was gold. But yeah, man, my guy just, you know, wanted to li- live a little bit. Congratulations to him, man. That takes a lot of discipline to just courage to flirt with this one girl. The fortitude. A lot of commitment. <laughs> Yo. Yo. This guy's been in the NFL. The discernment. Has had women by the... by the Dozen. It's more than that. Mm-hmm. You know how tough it is for gentlemen like that to just stay focused every day? Thousands and thousands of women trying to fuck us because y'all are horny heathens. <laughs> And he just got his legs back too. And we committed oh, every damn day. Just and then, legs the, back. then the one time you sent a little text out, y'all want to get to tripping. Like we didn't just practice discipline for 996 days. Now y'all leaving, ready to throw away everything we built. Why? Because I text a little workout hoe? Is it really love? She know about you. You're not, it's not embarrassing. What did the text say? I ain't got the text. Up. I want to hear what your reply is to no, my, I, man. can, my man's diet. He going. Hey, reply. listen, no, I hear. I reply hear. to him. She can't but, reply. She ain't no nigga. I'm talking about damn. people. I'm talking about people with niggas. Damn, yo. <laughs> Mel's had niggas. Currently, Mel, how would you reply to what he said? I want to tell him to go fuck himself. Actually, she, I really she know do. about you. I really do. I mean, if you know, and she keeping it, and she ain't, you know, if you know that this is what your dude does, then it really is like a thing of it's. Are you staying? Or are you going? Like uh, you just, you already know this is what it is. I read something on your Wikipedia that I won't say on the air. I'll tell you later. Let's go look at my Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> right, like you just put it yeah, right yeah, the fuck yeah, out yeah, there. The whole world gonna be like, what come on. Oh man, they're just gonna go in there and start editing mail shit, <laughs> adding shit. I'm sure that that's exactly what I, whatever you read. I'm sure that it's that's not what true. happened. It's not true. Right, exactly. Let me find the text. All right, he's in the blue. Do you have a time limit on text too? Ha ha. <laughs> it's Ryan. She says, ha ha. Not exactly. Only when I'm lawyering away. Mm. This is much better. Got you locked in. He says, yeah, I try to limit myself as well on there. So you're a lawyer and a beat writer and a world traveler. How do you find the time? Mm. Mm. That's not certain. That's good, LOL. It's just not healthy to be that connected with the world. I love it for meeting people and keeping up with friends, but just not what I'm all about, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Some people, that's their whole reality. That's true. Oh, this is like the small talk in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the you I'm just got to offer of IG. This that's is the you know. I'm not really I'm the not girl really that's about a to whore. cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really, all yeah, that yeah. bullshit. Yeah, and I'll be on there like that. Yeah, I don't work. do this. I don't be doing this. Yeah. 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 Uh, he, I love. Uh, I am. Ha ha. I love what I do. I make a lot of sacrifices and don't have much free time, but I definitely fill my time with things I enjoy most days. She lining it up. Mm-hmm. That's Ellie. Straight line. He says, "Yeah, I only show what I want people to see too. Word is born." Uh, <laughs> you know, a nigga just start agreeing. Yeah, nah, that's yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me, word. But I don't do so much in my. I don't do so much. I don't. But I don't so much of my life show so much. I guess he's trying to say. She says I'm the same way. Hence the close friends. Lol. Ah, some that's people. Some people get a little bit more. But I'm generally a really private person. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she, oh, well, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. she give it up. Lol. Some point. people usually get a little. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he go being thirsty. What did I do to deserve a little bit more of, uh, more of Caroline? Mm-hmm. Not going to lie. I enjoy. Just curious. And are you back in Columbus? And she says what they all say. You know, I just feel like you have really good energy. There's <laughs> <laughs> just something about you. You seem, you seem super chill. Like you're about your business. And I'm all about energy and vibes. That's true. And I am. Yes. I just got back. Where do you live? <laughs> I live in Pittsburgh, but I'm actually in your neck of the woods today and tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Yep, I'm right there. Bet. Right I appreciate there. it. This all sounds innocent to me, though. Yeah, no, I, no doubt. It's innocent. I feel the same way, yeah. I like just being around great people and being low-key. Right. Translation. Let's we, fuck and keep this low. Yo, get a spot in the back. 
Uh-oh. Two drinks Uh-oh. and we out of here. Oh, the next one. Many of men, many of men have gone down this path. He says, Uh-oh. I'm not going to lie. Don't lie. One day you post something and I DM and I unsent. LOL. I think I was being cautious. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this face. Yo. <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> hey. And you see. <laughs> and just take a guess at what she said after that. I mean, Which pick? No, no need to be cautious. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Both. If she hit with that. No need to be cautious. Which picks what? Which pick was it? Uh, you're safe over here. Mm, safe space. Oh, this ain't in order. It's like a wobbly duck right over the middle of the field. He sees that pick coming a mile away. Bro, do you hear this horrible game? Hey, man, it's it seems working. to be effective. It ain't. No. Well, has he cheated yet? No. no. Just getting to no, know someone. Look at, Ice. look at Ice, the pandering coming out of him. Come on, he can't, he can't even contain it. <laughs> speak speak for all women, Ice. <laughs> I don't speak for women. All right, speak for you speak and for women. women. I don't speak for women at all. You're not going to speak? Uh, she is shoot. Put it this way. Mm-hmm. He's a stealer now. No, you're not. Stealer for life. Ah, uh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We good. Well, we listen. Good. I'll we skip. Good. I'll we skip good. some of this later on. A few Rock days. A few days later, he sent her some books. Uh, he sent her the <laughs> ultimate guide to anal sex for women. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to hear your response. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what's yeah. the next one? Tell them the next one. And the next one is Blow by Blow, a step-by-step guide on how to give blowjobs so explosive oh, that he will be willing to do anything for you. My man's got a curriculum. I got to applaud this shit. <laughs> <laughs> here, read up on these before we meet. Back. I need, hey, listen. Yo. No, you're not here for the play play. They start, they start talking sex, uh-huh. and she start acting like she never did nothing. She don't know how to do nothing. So before you come out here with that parochial 101... I'm going to need that butt. <laughs> <laughs> just know. Butt. Just know. We are doing some Coco Love out here. <laughs> what the fuck? That is a wild the, book. To yo, them niggas got the idiot's guide to anal. <laughs> <laughs> anal for dummies. <laughs> What the oh, fuck? Holy shit. shit. Oh, Yo, man. salute. <laughs> salute, right? <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. <laughs> is just so clear? No. All right, so here we go. I got it. He says, I'm not going to lie, one day you went to post something and I almost DM some shit, but I unsent that shit. You know, trying to be respectful and be cautious. Mm-hmm. Every nigga said that. Shut up. And she said, Oh, shoot, are you really? Oh, what are you doing in Columbus? But then the next one. And that's 100% my vibe. No, you didn't. Ha ha, what? Now I'm curious what you said and what post was it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that is just small talking, small talking. Oh, here he go. He's thirsty. Uh, I know. So my date ended up being Braxton. Ha ha. She says, I love that. He's great. Yeah, he's the homie. She says, I'll be your date next time or some equivalent of that, whatever it is. He says, sounds like a great idea to me. She says, got to get you to Columbus more often. He says, I know. Besides my son, I have another reason to be around more. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. Besides my son... Holy shit. Oh, shit. Then he said, do you need to feel something? Tongue out uh, uh, emoji. Tongue emoji. Tongue out emoji. This guy's got the wackest tricks in the books. She says, what do you mean feel something? He says, that's the song. Ha ha. You told me to listen to it. I guess some shit they was talking about earlier. Uh-huh. Whatever. Shut up, nigga. Uh, what else? Then he sent the books. Now she's sending pictures. Enjoy some random pics from Mexico. Um, Wait, he just sent those books unsolicited? Like, just like, I think here's he's some he's reading a, material? He's well, he's in a book club. And there was no follow-up? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking his book club. <laughs> well, you know, and riff, sharing is caring with information. Yeah, reading is fundamental. Sure. You know. She didn't even comment go. on the Mel, book. Mel, what do you think about all this? I don't want to drag this reading all of this. Is this cheating? Th- th- 
this is highly entertaining, I, I do have to say. But yeah, I'm, yeah, of course it's cheating. Ice is See, it cheating? I didn't have to say it. Ice is it cheating? Yes, it's cheating. Parks is it cheating? Yeah. yeah Ish is it cheating? I tried to, I tried to, I tried to shoot him some bails. Yeah, to I didn't it, want to. Once you know. put the butt sex book in the chat. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I was I'm about sorry. to say, yo, dog, I can't even bail you out <laughs> of the blowjob 101 and the anal advancement. Anal for yeah, I can't, dummies. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Can't get you out of that. So for you, it's not. You, you, you fight that? You never get me with this. You never, you got to take this to your girl group chat. Yeah, nah. Would, would you would come to me talking about you cheated and show me some words that I said to somebody? Does all, so it has to be physical to be cheating? No, it has to be intent. There's no, there's no yeah. intention behind those words? Not, to, not that I can prove. You know how many times niggas just get horny and send some shit to a girl? Yo, hey, Ma, you look great. Nice tits. He sent her nice fucking ass. how-to manuals. Sent her books. And said, I got a reason to be out here now other than my son. Right. Met a friend. I got business. Holy met, shit. Met a friend. I think you missed your calling. You should have been a fucking lawyer. Met, met a, you should have been a, a defense attorney. Man, this is a relationship. This ain't a trial, nigga. Yeah, the fuck? Mm. Yeah, you got it. Listen, I'm a faithful man. I don't do none of this shit. <laughs> but if it happened, you're going to need a little more than my Instagram DMs to get me out of here. I got you. Here's the question, bro. Okay. You, you find that, you leaving? If I know that that's my, if I know that that's him and I've accepted that, then no, I'm not leaving. What the hell See, was that? Uh, what was that? What let me the ask you hell a was that? Wait, what? wait, wait. Hold what on, hold on. did it again? I know. <laughs> so let's stay there, though. Because I never understand this. Mm -hmm. You now, just now, said, now you got ice on you. If you <laughs> know that shit <laughs> and you've accepted this, right? Mm -hmm. Then what are you looking for? I don't know. Maybe there's other reasons as to why she wants you to. You know this your nigga, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you wanted more acceptance. You already know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already know. You already know you're not leaving. You I, Obviously, you know because you might have caught him in this mm -hmm. quite a few times. Girl truth. And you know you're not leaving. Mm -hmm. So, again, my question so why is, bother what looking? are you still looking for? I think sometimes you, a lot of reasons. One, you want to see who, it, who he's doing it with. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You also want to judge how serious it is. Three, you want to see if he's spending money. These are, these are all very realistic reasons as to why a chick who's not, has no intentions of going anywhere, why she would still be looking. You know what, and what she's like? And what she's looking for. You know what all that sounds like? It's girl fucking math. You sound like you want to torture yourself. Yes. That's what it sounds a like. A thousand percent. Self-sabotage. I want to yes. sit here and stress myself out. Yes. Knowing I'm not going to do anything about it. Yes, yes. I am not denying that at all. Okay. It is totally self-sabotage. It is total emotional fucking cutting. It is, there's no sense at all. It's fucking girl math. I am agreeing with you. Okay. Yes. And the call lines are at, they are <laughs> going crazy right now. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys think that I was going to deny that, and I'm not, I'm not going to deny that. That is, that is, in fact, the truth. If you have no intentions of going anywhere, but you're still going to be nosy and find out looking for the shit that you know he's probably doing, these are some of the reasons why you would do it, why you justify doing it. And I'm talking shit. This is inappropriate. I'm not going to call it cheating, but this is inappropriate. Yeah. Inappropriate behavior in a relationship. Why is why are your eyes like fucking slits? Like what? you just were rolling your eyes a second ago. What's what's going on? I was rolling my eyes. Yeah, I wasn't rolling my eyes. his eyes are just beautiful. What are you about? <laughs> <laughs> I love this little bromance. I, no. I think that um, the girl. I can't speak for women, but I think that they. You can. We'll be out of here if you do. <laughs> Go ahead. I think that they look through the phone, honestly, hoping to not find anything. Almost as a reassurance. Well, that's that's oh, that's fuck a, that. If you got to look through your nigga's phone, you know you're going to find something. I've dated guys where I'm like, I could look through. I won't even bother looking through his phone because I know he ain't up to nothing. And then there's the other guys I've dated. I'm, oh, he up to a mountain of shit and I don't want to know. How do you gaze the guy that's not up to something? I'm going to tell you why I disagree you just, with that. You just, you just, you just know. Well, it's how tuition. You, tuition. It told well, her to how, go in the box. How do you just know the when... You're with a guy who you don't have to check his phone because he's not doing I don't, anything. I don't. I. You just. I would, please. You, you just know. Like you. I need more than you just you, know for the listeners who don't know what okay. it's like to just know. 
that person that you're with, I'm, I'm just going to create a scenario, okay? You have history together. You have seen how they um, handle themselves in situ certain situations. You understand their level of integrity, what their um, non-negotiables are. You just know this person, and that's just not a part of their repertoire. They'd rather they'd rather break up with you than cheat on you because they think that it's beneath them. Yeah. There's, there's some men that feel that way. Now I understand. All right. I see where you're coming from. Now. Yeah. I didn't think that. Ish, I disagree with what you're saying. Get him, Ish. No, no, it's not good. Um, because I've been the person that wasn't doing shit, and she looked through the phone, and you know what happened? Just kept looking through the phone. Like it wasn't enough. It wasn't like okay, oh, I look, he's not doing nothing. Oh, I looked again, he's not doing nothing. You keep looking to hopefully find something. It's like how many? What are you looking for? If that's, it ain't there, that's why I leave something in there. Nice little surprise. <laughs> 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 nice little surprise. <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving right along. I get some tea. Go plant some get down some. in it. <laughs> oh yeah, mm. a little something that I know. Well, if, you, if you want to look, make you help. You, make sure you find something. Got to put a little, a little icing in that eclair. Pal, <laughs> <laughs> pal, yeah. Yeah, pal. <laughs> um, all right. What else? What else? What else? What else? We got. So I was gonna ask you guys something. Um, Ari Lennox is like on all the blogs right now for all the fucking wrong reasons as far as I'm concerned but she was she's on tour with Rod Wave right now mm -hmm. and while she was on the stage performing somebody threw a water bottle and I swear to god I fucking hate this trend of people throwing things at artists on stage but I digress so she flips the fuck out and whatever else they end up finding out who it was that did it but this isn't the question that I had for you a lot of people were kind of were in the comments were basically saying Ari Lennox was misplaced on this tour. Her vibe and Rod Wave's, uh, Rod Wave's vibe is totally different. Their audiences are totally different. And that was the response to her being misplaced on this tour. So I wanted to kind of like ask you guys, um, especially you, just have you ever seen like over the course of time artists that have been placed on the wrong tour? I don't think it's and, all the way the wrong tour. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't tour. know if y'all listen to Rod Wave, but he makes kind of singy sad songs. Singy sad songs, yeah. Yeah. No, he does. But Ari is, to me, she's like in the Neo Soul kind of vibe. Like she's like the Erica Badu kind of lane kind of thing. Ish, you know what ish, I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like her audience and his audience, you know, he's got like an audience of like, you know, kind of, you know, like a lot of white kids. And I don't think that they necessarily... How know who Ari actually is. I get, and I understand wanting to introduce your artist yeah. to so another that's audience. That's how you expand. Yeah, you be supporting, you know, supporting cast on the tour, mm -hmm. and you hope that a percentage of their fans mm -hmm. can be interested in your music. And yeah. now you just gained a, a, a new, you know, you added onto your fan base. Yeah, and, and, you, and you get paid, and you get paid, mm -hmm. and the, the the venues that he's doing, she couldn't do by herself. At all. Mm. So that changes things. Mm. Yeah, next, like next like, thing you know, you graduate up and you, you keep doing that, then you're the headliner at them type of venues. Yeah, like put yourself in Ari Lennox's shoes as an artist. Mm -hmm. You want to get in front of as many fans as you could possibly sure. get in front of. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why these She's cats not are doing in a spot where she's gonna say no to uh a tour that, that type could, of that type of tour though. Because yeah, Rod Wave yield, is bringing them out. Yield her, yeah. yeah. He's and bringing them he's out. Selling out and doing he's doing arenas. It's a yeah. Fine, yeah, financial this, this looks pretty curated by her team. Mm -hmm. And um, she wowed out on the on the person for throwing a bottle. Yes, I don't think she's wrong. She's no. not wrong for that. No, 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 not at all. No, she's not wrong at all. I think she's wrong at all. Yeah. But I don't. I don't see this. As I a do. Massive mismatch. You do. You don't think the artist should react when people when things get thrown at them it on depends. stage? No. I think it depends on no, how close it is. How close and, was it? No, I do not. And you know the other problem. It was an empty when, water bottle. When you and start, it was an empty water bottle. I mean, like BB Rexa got a fucking phone thrown at her but face. Look, she ended up with stitches. So you're not is, supposed to react when. When you do react, <clears throat> it opens the door for more of it. It depends. That's the bad part in this crazy. cloud chase. In this cloud chasey era, mm. reaction brings more of whatever you're reacting to. Empty water bottle changes the changes the empty things. water bottle, yo. If it wasn't nowhere near me, it changes wait, things. Wait, wait, an empty water bottle? It was an empty water bottle. Dude, that motherfucker hard as hell. You know, that shit light. And you it, gotta put some... And it floated like an empty water bottle. You got some strength to get that to the stage. Empty water bottle. My stance is the same as when... Um, we struggled with Cardi did that shit. I don't, I don't feel that any artist 
in front of that size audience or any audience should stop their show and talk to one person that's foul and disrespectful. If you're going to stop your show, then address your audience and say what you need to say. But to address one person that's being a dick, no. If you're going to take the break, then talk to the staff, talk to your team, talk to security, point them out, get that person out of there. But this is you had a show and you are a songstress and your songs are beautiful and soft and I don't think you we need to hear you do all of this cursing to this one person who we never even saw. We only seeing you and how you are responding to this. Now, I know that mm-hmm. takes a lot of restraint. Yeah. I'm not telling everybody that there's no right or wrong. I'm just telling you what I think. But yeah, I don't like when artists do that. Unless you are in grave danger. Somebody like if somebody hits like you. Like that or phone, that phone's hitting somebody yeah. in the face, the show yeah, has to true. stop. Yeah. Yeah. The show has to stop. But if it's just somebody splashed some alcohol up there or Threw some plastic or some drawers or something up there. Like it depends. Like I don't want you to assault me, my nigga. If you throw a drink on me, I don't know what's in the drink. Your spit is in there. All of that shit. It's a different ball game to me. Um, or if you throw something heavy, that could really hurt. You know what I mean? Like it, it changes things. An empty water bottle. I think it's an overreaction, Man, especially if it wasn't that close. motherfucker arrested, prosecuted. Teach him a lesson. I won't throw yeah. shit else at another one. Yeah, like if it was that's that big of an issue, that's press charges or, or have him dealt with. Because again, it. people want the reaction. I'm telling you. I they want it. you to sit there screaming. And they want you to jump in the crowd and fuck them up and possibly give them a lawsuit. They want the bullshit. They want that. So no, we're not going to give you that. Yo, go find out who did that. Get them the fuck out of here. And I'm pressing charges. And I understand mm-hmm. niggas be mad when they're on stage like and that happens. So Yeah, you would be pissed off. You yeah, out here yeah, doing your song. Super disrespectful. You're performing. This mm-hmm. is my job here. That's it. I don't care who you paid to see. I'm here. You paid me to see. You paid me to be here too. That's true. So I'm doing my job. Allow me to do my job. And then you'll get whatever, you know, whoever you came to see, he'll be here. Hey, if you don't want to see the opener, go later. People mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. I do it all the time. Shit, I'll ask people, yo, who's opening on your show? Oh, this person, this person? All right, I'll be there around this time. Or you just think, you, you don't have to go as soon as doors open. It's going to be openers. Shout out to Ari, though. Hopefully that doesn't continue to happen to her yeah. up yeah. there. We don't really wish that on any performer. No. Not at all. But uh, Yeah, for real. We got to learn how to deal with some of this stuff. As, just, as, I just it's going to continue to happen. I just hope her and other performers, you know, and it, it takes a lot of discipline that you don't, React and do something that you'll end up paying for one way or another. It takes a lot of discipline. It's easier said than done. You know, sitting here on the couch, I'm not standing on stage having somebody throw something at me. But just try to be, you know, try to think that through because that's what they want. They want to be able to tie you to a lawsuit, make you pay some money out, whatever the case may be. We've seen, you know, 50 Ma- throw a mic at somebody, Ma- Cardi Ma- throw a You just throw something Ma- back at someone and there's a problem. Just be careful out there. We've also seen mm-hmm. uh, people start throwing shit and then the artists end the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I'm not my, mad at that. My, my fit, my, Bring that back. I'm in danger. My physical well-being is placed in jeopardy. The show is over. You still owe me my money. It's in the contract. Yep. That, yep. True. Yeah. Bring that back. That'll yeah. teach you niggas. Oh, you're throwing shit? Good night. Yeah. Fuck around and get jumped by the crowd. Yeah. Mm. For costing us the event. Yep. Uh-huh. You thought they was jumping niggas when Beyonce did the little silent part. Have this whole show ended. Watch what happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fucking people up in that crowd. Mm-hmm. See Beyonce's movie in theaters? Yep. Mm-hmm. It's out now? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. I am going to go see it. I want to watch it. Yeah, I'm going to go see it. Definitely going to go see it. Mel, is Beyonce mm-hmm. bleaching her skin? No, she is not. God, people are so insane. Whoa. Yeah. I had a long... So what is she doing? Yeah. I... Th- what? Why do you think that she's ble- bleaching her skin? Because I have eyes. I don't. I don't know that. I don't. I. Mm-hmm. I don't think anything. Okay. But I have eyes. Uh huh. And some was up in the picture. A lot of things can happen in in a picture. It could be Maybe. terrible color composition. Um, the first pictures that came out, the backdrop with the silver hair, it was it washed her out. It looked really that's, to, that's to me. It, it did. Me. It did exactly not look. Does. Her dress looked amazing. She looks amazing. And the but color she looked, of her dress and her hair. She looked super. Too. She looked super washed out. And I think she's. I think she's trolling here. Okay, I really. 
I just no. I don't think Beyonce's be bleaching her skin. No, she's not bleaching her skin. I think that about the, that washing out. I, I didn't understand that, but that's yeah. how it was explained to me. Yeah. yeah, I think the color of the hair with the dress, with the lighting, and all of that shit, it just wasn't the most favorable picture for her skin tone. But I don't necessarily know. I would have to see I, when 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 Sammy Sosa was bleaching and when. Um, <laughs> Bob's cartel. <laughs> you could see the difference, like a transitional mm-hmm. difference. With her, next week you might see her and she look like her normal skin. I don't think, I don't think a- Sammy Sosa and Beyonce got the same bleach connect. Fuck Beyonce ain't bleaching, man. She she I, a- I, I did Sammy Sosa. That shit was horrible. Nah, Sammy has some you, That shit was horrible. I don't, I don't know if he still had it, it when crazy. he got bleached. He looked yeah. like a nut. That shit looked crazy. He, like, he go, went to the trilogy in the Bronx that was killing bitches. <laughs> Putting the caulk in. He like he just jersey. put some Clorox on his face. Yeah, <laughs> he looked a mess. And homeboy, uh, yeah, homeboy. Mm-mm. No, so crazy. She took some close up pictures, and it's her regular skin tone. Yeah, just as proof that she wasn't bleaching. Cause anybody got thoughts on Benny the Butcher hanging out with Freddie Gibbs' baby moms? <sighs> Should I make some coffee? <laughs> Should I grab a Snicker or some shit? Like that was that was that was crazy. Um, but his baby mom's has been pretty adamant that a I don't fuck with you. For she lists her reasons. You know, she says he's a deadbeat. Don't claim the kid. You know, made it rough for her. Even back when she was still pregnant, doing porn. Wait, ain't the kid new? Pretty new, yeah, I think. Pretty new. Yeah. So what you mean he ain't claiming the kid? Give him a second. My nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> How do you make damn, them you all impatient? Yeah, God you damn! Impatient. You know this nigga was coming. Mama's yeah. saying, daddy's, daddy's maybe. maybe. Yo, you stupid. So yo. she's been saying a lot of shit. Like she said, there's nothing going on with her and Benny. She just getting her chain back. Ah, uh, she probably oh, missed okay. that chain. Okay. Yo, women be so messy sometimes. It's beyond messy. Sometimes. Women do some shit that get a nigga murdered. Yes. Yes. Yo, you let somebody pull a camera out and take a picture with you and a nigga that you know your baby father got beef with. No, no, no. More than that, this is the people that we got into a fight with. Yeah, they beat up too. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's how the chain got took. Yeah. I'm paying you back. Come over here and get this chain, girl. My bad. Come on. Women be doing some wild shit, my nigga. That shit is wild. That shit is yeah. crazy. And, then, and, it, and what, But the crazy part is we'll, and we'll justify it, though. Like, to her, that makes sense. Everything she's doing makes sense. She don't see that she's in the wrong. Her body, her choice. <laughs> okay. You get tea at the weirdest moment. What, what's your, <laughs> yo, what's your opinion? I'm not chilling with the ops if it could result in, like, you know, physical violence. I'm not doing that personally. Personally, gotcha. yeah, it's not never been my vibe. Thank God. Yeah, good girl right there. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I just make them niggas Eskimo, bro. Uh, <laughs> you heard, yeah. Yeah, you heard it, yeah. I'm not chilling with the ops if one of them could get in physical danger. Well, what's the other scenario? No, she just said she, just said she made, made them niggas made, Eskimo <laughs> brothers and knew they didn't want to be Eskimo brothers. Yeah. So if he went in the igloo and caught you in the igloo and he popped the nigga, then what? Whoops. All right. <laughs> All right. What else? Kidding. What else? Uh, we kidding. got up kidding. there. I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. Mikey <laughs> Williams caught a break. We know. Yeah, he, uh, did. he did. He did. Um, yo, to all the gamers out there, this is y'all could chill out for a minute. Give me some coffee. Yeah, go get you some coffee. Do whatever you want to do. GTA Six is upon us. David Rockstar has announced finally the GTA Six trailer will be December fifth, nine a.m. Yeah, what is what's the craze? Please explain the craze to me. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, the game is is well. First off, this game has I think it came out over a decade ago. Mm-hmm. It did way keep, over a decade. Way far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably fifteen. Twenty. No, no, no. I'm talking about GTA Five. Oh, just okay. the fifth one. Got you. Okay. Oh, got you. It is. I think the only game to live through three consoles. Wow, mm. that's crazy. Like, like shut up, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you can go make some coffee. That's fine. I said that that's crazy, but it's not crazy. Because game, <laughs> but you can go make some coffee. No, in my no, day, games co- couldn't go from no, but, console but, but, but to console. But you can go and put some coffee I'm in the agreeing. cup. But the cup right there and it's empty. Oh man, it can't be. That go anymore. fill your cup. You mean the only like because Madden and uh, no, 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 the same game, my nigga. <laughs> 
<laughs> like yeah, Madden comes out to do his game or no, shit. No, 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 yo. Madden comes out every year. Yeah, <clears throat> this is the same GTA Five. It came out on PS3. Oh, got you. That would be like Mario, the original Mario. Well, going man, through all you. this. We released the same game PS4. We released the same game PS5. It would like, be like Space Invaders going all the way. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here. This is why I don't talk about... You ask me why I don't talk about like any gaming Pong. shit on here. This is why. <laughs> Dig, Doug. <laughs> 2020. Like, remember Donkey Kong? It's like... Word. <laughs> D- Double Dragon. <laughs> Contra. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Like, yeah. Contra, yes. Yeah. Niggas were nice and Contra. Shut up. That's crazy, Ice. But no, nah, it, it was more to it. But, um, GTA. We'll talk. Parks we'll and Ish we'll stepped talk. on the gamer segment that I was glued to. Nigga, you stepped first. <laughs> what kind of glue you had? <laughs> That's a bum ass no, man, I said that was dope. It's, it's, it's a big it's deal. A big for deal. Us. It it's a big, a big deal. deal for people who've been waiting for it. The, they introduced an online version of it. People have been. I ain't gonna do that. This is one of the real nigga games that they got left. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it, so it, I it ain't really is. Get your shit off. Like, niggas really lock in on this GTA shit. But um, Six had been like rumblings for years. We never knew when it, if they was even gonna make a Six because they're making so much money off of Five. It's like if it ain't broke, don't fix it type shit. So now they've just announced like yesterday or something that the, they're, they're gonna un- unveil the trailer uh, December 5th. What's that, Everybody's Rockstar? To, yeah, Rockstar. About to buy me some Rockstar stock. <laughs> yeah So I was just You know All the gamers out there We'll be talking about it After the trailer drops Game should be out sometime Maybe next year In the next year It's gonna be a massive release They talking about Changing it To a subscription base Game might cost $150 Oh shit I, I, it's, it's Definitely buying stock Yeah <laughs> That would be smart Yeah I'm gonna go ahead And do that now So yes Here's a thought if the jurors who had their identity revealed in the Young Thug case mm-hmm. are now scared for their life, mm-hmm. forget it. Nope, nope. Go ahead, finish. I hear his brain. No, I want to hear it. Never I hear the people talk. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a question. That's probably good for him. That's probably good for him. You heard what the judge said? About? They ain't tell him. Who ain't tell who? The, the jurors. Didn't tell jurors what? That Their names have been released? Their pictures are out there. They are they cousins told them. They nephews and nieces. <laughs> <laughs> no, this the, is the real question. They got Wi-Fi. You have a conversation? But you're not supposed to. Are they sequestered? In a case like this, I'm pretty sure yes. Of course. In a case okay. of this magnitude, absolutely. Okay, okay. How long have they been requested? <laughs> 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 they trying to keep a mistrial from happening. Yeah, the thing they don't want a mistrial. They don't want a mistrial. They, they put in too much work. They don't want a mistrial. It's been it over took, a year. It took ten it's been months. Over a year. State cost it took too much ten money. months just picking the jury. Mm. Bro, think about this though. I'm telling you, prosecution is is that mine. If if the jury has a reason to be scared, that, I, I know. I read I know. your brain already. I know. I read your brain. That's either real good for him or real bad for him. I don't know which one it is yet. Could be. Um, it could be great. Could get, be great. Hey, get these jurors that th- think I be killing people the fuck out of here. Give me some new <laughs> niggas. Get the alternates. Get the niggas that like my shit. Do, who do y'all think a mistrial benefits more if they choose to retry? I don't think there's no way you get a mistrial. I don't think they're getting a mistrial. I'm just saying in this, in, in, why did W. Melly got a mistrial? And they, they kept and them they, because they're going to retry. And they're bringing them right back. I know, but I'm saying. And said if they lose that, we bring mistri- them right back. But and I'm I, saying, in the event of a mistrial, who do you think it benefits more, the state or the, the prosecution or the defense? Be- benefits the defense. It depends. If his lawyers and attorneys are good nah. enough. To, if his lawyers and attorneys are good enough to get him home, like, Mm-hmm. After the well, mistrial. Well, how long are we talking about, like, the mistrial? Like, what, what are we talking about is the reason for the mistrial? They whatever the, whatever the reason, whatever, reason. whatever the reason is, Jury prosecution could, no, has, a, no, 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 no. has a chance to address it. No, the, no. The reason why I ask is because, look, let's just say a mistrial is um, is called towards the end of the trial. Yeah. At that point, the defense gets to see what the prosecution's case is. Right. And we saw that the whole play. Is, exactly, and that's that's why I say 
a mistrial benefits the defense more than the prosecution. And then the prosecution has to justify going back to trial and spending a shit ton more of taxpayer dollars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of times prosecutors will be like, we're not going to file right now or not whatever the case yeah. is. This case too public. I don't think it moves uh, the def defense at all. Yeah. The, this case I, 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 I understand both sides. That's why I said I wanted to ask y'all Yo, who fam, it would benefit. Not for nothing. If they really want you to go to jail, dog, you're going it's to nothing you could do. I don't give a fuck if you drop innocent. It's nothing you could do if they want you to go to jail. Mm -hmm. That's because it. look, Mel, the mm -hmm. same time, now we did see their case, right? If we're the defense. Mm -hmm. Maybe now I might have to cop to something because that case is, was way stronger than, I, than we thought. They had some shit we didn't know they had. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to necessarily benefit the but defense still, at that point. But still being able to see what the play is will allow you to Strengthens like... Strengthen you. I I exactly. You can go back in and Either be like, to hey... for it or realize we don't, prep we don't stand also, a chance over here. Number one. Number two, the burden is on the prosecution. Yeah. It's a misconception. Okay. It's all theory that you got to prove them guilty. Not, not for us in court. You got to prove your innocence in court. They don't necessarily have to prove you guilty in court because sometimes it's just a court of public opinion. The jurors are people, people. like, um, it's a case for a, a dude that was really, uh, an old head dude from New Jersey that was a real, real big time drug dealer. And he got life and they was like, yo, they never caught him on no phones, they never caught him with no drugs, they never caught him with nothing. Mm -hmm. But they charged him, everybody knew what he was doing like word of mouth. But he said, yo, Put yourself in the mindset of a juror in the 80s, the early 80s, mm -hmm. when they start bringing watches in that cost $40,000. Mm -hmm. You don't got to catch me with no drugs. Nigga justify you got three or $40,000 watches in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. You can't. Yeah. So now they didn't prove him guilty. Mm -hmm. They you get what I'm saying? Innocent. But he just is, didn't prove his innocence. I know, but this is a jury trial in 2023 and the chance of a possible, like, fan mm -hmm. of thugs being on That's in possible. the jury can can create the mistrial. That's possible. You know what no, I'm saying? I was just talking about your, your but, point of they got to prove you guilty. That's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. They really don't got to prove you guilty. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of prove your own innocence. And that's the bad thing for us. You know what I'm saying? In these trials. But I think that it's bad for him. If he goes back to trial, I think it's bad for him. I've seen mad times on Dateline where the, at the retrial we run the same shit that we just ran just in front of a new judge and in front and of jury. new people a new judge a new mm -hmm. jury yeah. the judge has been the judge has been effect. prepped the mm -hmm. judge has been prepped for what the last judge said was his reasoning and now we got a new judge that's play ball boy did John Gotti luck out ain't he John Gotti back in whenever that was the jurors were walking out of the courtroom door and getting in the car and going wherever they was going. So John Gotti just had his people follow the juror to fucking pay him off. <laughs> it was mad easy to pay off a juror. Back then, mm -hmm. especially back then. Wasn't no cameras like it is today. It wasn't no technology. Your phone not pinging off a site. None of that shit back then. And shit, if y'all gonna leave them jurors on that we seen on whatever Instagram page we saw them on, send it over. Send that bag <laughs> right to him. People, <laughs> yo, the crazy shit. They, they, oh, all the tape looks too. Like, they look like they needed something. Shit, I'm not gonna <laughs> say that, but they look like they might not turn something down. Yeah, John man. Gotti was buying jurors for the cheap. Nigga, you talking about the twenty five, eight? fifty grand? And you talking about the eighties? That well, wasn't cheap. That's true. Yeah, no. Inflation. Like a that's a lot. Was, that was a lot of money like a in the eighties. One hundred eighty grand. You give like, a nigga fifty grand. And also, it's John fucking Gotti. Take this money. That's and gonna that, cost you today. No, no, yeah. no. And I'm indebted to you. Yeah. I'm gonna give you or, fifty and I owe I'm you John a favor. I'm John fucking Gotti. Take this favor. fucking money. I'm gonna give you fifty and I owe you a favor. That nigga Man. said it was Wayne that came up with slime. <laughs> <laughs> My idol. And he probably did. Boy, he did. No, they've been saying slime way before the. Yeah, but probably, you know, we'll just see. Yeah. We'll just see what's going on. That shit was just crazy how the internet worked, yo. As soon as them pictures went out, niggas like, oh, that's such and such. His name is this, this, this. I said, yo. They was doing that? Yes, mm -hmm. they identified the niggas. The second the picture went up, niggas started saying, oh, this is da, 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 da. He so, from. It's a really good conversation in the, on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't get me, buddy. But it's a really good conversation I have on the balcony, for real. Um... I want to say congratulations to Riggs Morales. Yes. Riggs, my guy. Round of Salute, applause Riggs. to Riggs. We love you, friend of the show. Uh, Riggs got the vice president of a and &R, &R, r job at Def Jam. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So let me hit the round. Let me give him some. That's good hands to be in. Yeah. 
Yeah, Riggs is passionate about this shit. Yep. He One is, the ones so. that really give a fuck. Facts. Yes. He cares. Mm -hmm. So, shout out to Def Jam. Good guy. Good guy you got up there. And shout out to Riggs. I'm going to find an artist to bring up there, and you better green light it, nigga. <laughs> That's that on that. Love to see people you know move on in high, <laughs> high places. Find me a little girl that can hit a note or something. A little sleep Push it through. Little, yeah, pu little, push it through. Low legs. Yeah, push it through. Uh, what else do I have written down here? Uh, you ready to tell the truth about NBA Youngboy? Uh, I'm not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? That nigga's trash. He's horrible. He is horrible. Damn. He is horrible. He is really, 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 really bad. As a rapper or a person? I'm not, I don't know him as a person. Oh, okay. I'm only speaking about music. Music. He's really, really, really bad. And that thing happened with him where when he was out, the label pushed a button and did some YouTube shit. So then all the little kids had to just come to the fucking come to the gathering and tell you about NBA young boy views and how great he is and how awesome he is and how amazing he's doing. Now that the label's backed up a bit and now that we done had about three or four projects while he's been in Utah on house arrest. He had way more than that. I know. And that's that, that, I know. that to me is where the I problem know. lies because earlier young boy music don't sound like this to me. Like even he just dropped a single today. I listened to it last night. And I cut it off midway through. I'm He's just like, I up. can't. What's the difference between his music then and now? The shit, me, I could hear it. Like, I, literally. Well, I He's stuck hear, in I Utah, can, can, right? Huh? Isn't he still on House Arrest? Yes. Yeah. yes he's that matters. Because now you can't really move around. You can't get the feel of things. You can't necessarily, you know what I mean? Get the motion that's going mm -hmm. on outside of fucking Utah. Tell it to the kids. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's, Don't it's tell a, it to me. Yeah. I, I, I could see how that would play a part in your creativity. And when I say I can hear it, I mean like coherently hear mm -hmm. it. Like I can hear the words he's saying. Now it don't really sound the same. Mm. Like it almost sounds like just. It's, and he had records like that before, but it just sounds like slurs. Like it sounds like it sounds bad. It's not. The record today just was not good. I think whatever deal he made or whatever is requiring him to put out music at such a high clip. Because his his stuff is all views. Mm -hmm. It usually don't even translate the streams that way. It's it's like YouTube views and shit like that. So he has to constantly, constantly, constantly feed. It's like it's, it's like how you know we drop a lot of uh, content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has to keep dropping content. He's dropping album after album, damn near every month, month and a half. Yo, you in a house in Utah? You stuck? I don't care. Oh. <laughs> I don't care. Like, it's nothing y'all can say that's going. Like, niggas bad. Now, I get it. I'm old. I'm old. He ain't making it for me. I got that part. But that shit's horrible. Might play a young boy sleeper, man. Tell me so I can leave. <laughs> I don't hear none of that shit. Um, He's an idiot. I don't have nothing else that I need to get. Okay, part of the shows? Let's see. Let's see if I got some young niggas talk too much. So. Oh, no, wait. I got a little miniature docket. It's not even a docket. It's not a docket. <sighs> you overly entitled fans. Oh, shit. Oh. Are starting to get on my fucking nerve. Uh oh. What happened? What they did for you? Nah, it's not even. It's not. It's just. I think y'all are getting too comfortable with with us. And I'm not trying to sound like a dick when I say this, but my nigga, y'all don't know us. I'm going to speak for me, not even them. You don't know me. Stop thinking you know me because you watch a show. Stop thinking you know anything other than what I show you. I'm getting, I'm, I'm read, I don't even read comments, but you're tagging me and shit. Like, I'm, I'm seeing shit. Why wasn't, oh, we want to see this. Why wasn't, like, why wasn't Ish Girl there? We want to see her. Yo, you're not entitled to anything. You're entitled to what? Not even entitled. You get whatever we put out to show you. That's it. it. It started to really, like, I went back to blocking niggas. And I said I wasn't doing it no more. Because I really am trying to fuck with everybody. Mm -hmm. Whether you like me or not, I don't care about that. But I'm just trying to embrace the fan base, the love, the hate, all of it together. But the entitlement is starting to really, I think y'all need a reminder. Like, we not cool. You watch the show, 
you support via Patreon or whatever other means you support, and that's cool. But that's like where that stop. We we not friends. I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you any explanations on anything. No one up here does. If you get it, you get it. But we don't owe you shit. And I just want, I'm staring right into the camera. I don't usually do this. Like, I was going to come in here on my flip shit and tell y'all to suck my dick. New ice and ash. But I'm not going to do that because I'm just not that disrespectful gotta, of a person. You got to put me with him when he tell him to SMD. <laughs> nah, I said I'm not going to do that. I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing. not going to do that. I'm not going to tell them that I'm not going to do it. But I, I had the mind to come in here and tell y'all to suck my dick. Say that shit. So with that being said, man, y'all can suck my dick. There you go. There we go. There, there, we, go. Go. there we go. That's what I like. There we yeah, go. Idiot, yo. Someone said something foul, Dice. Nah, no, nah, it wasn't even. It's not foul. It's not foul. Like I'm watching the pods giving. Um, you know, the, we had the shit on the screen yeah. and everything, and it's just like the shit that y'all are. Yo, we want to see this. Yo, they tell them in the back to shut up. Yo, I saw somebody cut up a video of Nat getting a spoon. Out of the sink. I love that video. No, I'm, it's, it's not, I love the fact, but I'm just saying the fact that you're putting this much time and effort into trying to point out shit that we didn't have to cut the cameras on at all. Like, I get why some people say, hey, you know what? You get the product that I sell you and that's it. Like, I think it should be some level of, damn, yo, them niggas really did a solid by even letting us vibe with them. They were saying, tell them in the back to shut up. Because we can't hear. And you address, you're like, yo, shut, no, I'm not telling nobody to shut up. We having a party here. We could cut this shit off and y'all can be out there and we'll still be having our same party. It's just an entitlement that y'all think y'all got, y'all y'all can, y'all call shots or y'all get to say whatever the fuck you want. No. So respectfully. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Should we get him the handbook? <laughs> blow by blow Blow, what was by, blow, blow by blow Blow by blow What y'all think Ellie was trying to do Posting the ad He was trying to be spicy uh, Was he? Yes 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 he I was, thousand percent right? think yes. he was trying to trying I don't think he spicy. was just Bigging up prize picks I definitely think he was Trying to be spicy Thousand percent <laughs> I think it was corny And you know I fuck with Elliot But I think that was corny like, oh, there you go. Let him answer for it. Niggas be knowing what day we record. <laughs> I want to answer that phone. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. I know. That's a whole bunch of talk about that. Even that mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm that dude. Yeah. yeah. I double I double call. Because you seen my name. You seen it. Now you might think it's an emergency. You seen So now you got a decision to make. Let Joe die. <laughs> <laughs> or answer the phone. See what he wants. All right, L didn't answer. Even that part where he was talking about. Cause I ain't see all the stuff about the pie giving, but No, I'm just saying like the, the talk dog. about the ad. Yeah. That shit made the waves go crazy. Yeah. Your business practice that, because I, I get it, you you kind of have been very anti ad. No, he wasn't. I don't even say you're anti ad. That's the crazy you've part. Been, no. I you mean, know. the perception. Yeah. Just but the perception. You but niggas dog, don't I, know. If mm. a nigga decides to get an ad on their platform that they pay for, maybe you needed the money to bring the content to the people. Let's say you needed the money. Who the fuck cares, my nigga? All of this is the blessing, right? Like, I have, I've been where ICE is with That's the true. fuck you entitled fans. I have, so I feel that. All this shit is the blessing. Fucking them cursing me out for not addressing the puff shit. Like, that's the, that's, that's true. That's, that's, that's the that's blessing. True. How they respond to an ad happening, that's, that's the blessing. An ad happening is a blessing. That's true. These niggas with their fucking, uh, entitlement and being invested in the think pieces I see every day about things that are just really minuscule and don't matter at blessing. all for us. Such a blessing, yo. That's true. Thank, mm. thank God. I agree with that. Thank God. That makes sense. I ain't look at it like that. That makes sense. Yeah, because I mean, they it's, care. I get that. And they watch it. And they... No, I, I, I'm, and I'm definitely not telling them to stop. You know, some people will be like, yo, don't watch. Kiss my... Like, I'm not saying that. I'm just letting you know that 
you sometimes you need a reminder that y'all not not sitting up here. I I, I, I get I get cursing out the dickheads. Y'all know I'm with that. You know I'm with that. I love I, that. I, I, don't, I don't even do but, that. But the but, dickheads but are even, a part of the blessing. Even the dickheads typing yep. and writing and yes, sharing they're thoughts. Part of the blessing. Mm -hmm. That's the blessing. And it's engagement. Let me tell y'all, prize picks could not be happy. Oh, no, they, nigga. All of that talk, that was a lot of talk for one act. And not just that. Ooh. Ooh. Look, yeah, I'm pretty, look, 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 look. Ooh. Look, yo. Oh, look. Nah. I, yo, you stupid, hey, yo. That's when you hit, like, even people like Elliot doing that. Hey, salute. Elliot, mm -hmm. that's the big salute. up. I don't know if you was trying to. You probably to, wasn't trying to I, do that. I think you might have been trying to be funny, but that was the big up. That was like a help. I don't know why people don't know when they're helping. And I wouldn't register for that shit. <laughs> <Same, man. laughs> <laughs> and that and like let me clear it. And I've it. never been against ads. I don't know why that's... I've never been against ads. Dog, if you're against you bum-ass ads. I no, said against no. the ads that these niggas do. Bro, <laughs> if you were against ads and then decided tomorrow... Hey, let me go fuck with that. So, you can do that. Yeah, that's my thing. That yeah. was my that was my point. The people that think I'm not for an ad don't understand what I'm saying. You clearly, and those people, I'm not trying to make understand what I'm saying because some of them want to be the competition. So I can't teach the competition. Yeah, yeah, I get True. that. I can't do it. I get that. Just know, I'm ahead of all y'all. <laughs> no exclusions. <laughs> no one left out. No one forgotten about. Oh damn! I forgot. Oh, yeah. him over there. Oh, yeah. no. People I'm fly with. People I love. The field. The whole. I'm field. ahead of y'all. The whole field. All of them. Tiger. Every last one of them. Tiger Wool. Every. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tiger had a bad day though. Tiger. So, did y'all see Tiger at whatever the fuck he showed up at? Nigga was three over par. Nigga hit the shit in the bushes. Had to hit it out of the. Nigga hit it in the lake. He look an old in the face. I was like, oh shit, they got my nigga Tiger doing bad. Uh, anyway, I do have a friend of the show for y'all. Part, part of the show. Part of the show. Part of the I mean, show. Part we of have many friends of the show. Hey, the yes. field. I love y'all, but don't forget this broadcast is ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> In case you forgot, I posted it in my story yesterday. <laughs> this is a top 50 broadcast overall. All genres. And the nigga right above us, his pod was only 11 minutes on the war. He cheating. That don't count. <laughs> we really top 49. Yeah. Them niggas is playing little number games. Y'all podcasters that don't have nothing to say with y'all little 40 minutes, I exclude y'all. We really top 30. <laughs> But yeah, I just don't want y'all to ever forget because we laugh and we friends and we kiki and we look great and smell great that we ahead of y'all. <laughs> so while you... <laughs> the most important point. No, that's here. the most important part. So all of the time and energy <laughs> that you put into highlighting things about me and or us, I feel should be put back into you. Because we're ahead of you. Remind them one more time. And wait, wait. have yes. been Remind them again. ahead of y'all. There you go. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what that man. means is there hasn't been a day <laughs> that y'all have been ahead of us. <laughs> Not an hour. Maybe an hour sometime when y'all drop first, but then we drop and it'd be, oh, then, then y'all back down bad again. <laughs> Y'all do good. When that's we, when they stay. That's when they stay up. Get up extra early. Get the screenshot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, early, early, early. Boom, we got it. Oh, shit. L now listen, y'all do better than us when we take a vacation. <laughs> when we got some, when Ish go to jail. <laughs> when, when we got some family shit to get to. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, yeah, like that's when y'all do right. Yeah, but man. like, stop, stop, God stop, damn, man. man. All right, let's move on. But and I love y'all. We do. Let me just be clear. I do love y'all. I don't want y'all to take what I said the wrong way. I, I love y'all too. I wish I had a chance to see if I would love y'all if I wasn't ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this thing is an asshole. Bro. I'm not. That's fucked up. Like, I love the whole field, but I don't know if it's only because <laughs> you ahead. 
We that. I love that the most. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Right. Hey, man. Hey, man. Moving on. Part of the show. Part of the show. Mm-hmm. Moving on. It's almost like y'all not even trying to get. <laughs> like. <laughs> so don't let that get lost as you're critiquing. Way ahead. Oh, <laughs> it ain't even by a small margin, like a nose. You know, like when they're running in the. <laughs> But well, they be like, damn, shit. it could have went either. Gotta, it ain't, it ain't one of them. They gotta dive into this. It, it could have went either way. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. Gotcha. It's not that. Gotcha. It's not that. It's not that. All right, so, come on. Part of the show. Who, who, part who can we of help? the show, we got a nigga named Howard Craig. What's up, Howard? All right, what Hi, up? Howard. I love a nigga with two first names. <laughs> like a lawyer. <laughs> Hello. And good day to you all. Hello. Good day. Hello. Hello. Good day, Mike. Good day. I'm getting married next year, and I'm still in my mid twenties. Oh. Me and my fiance live with her parents, oh. just because we look at rent like wasting money, and we're going to build a house after the wedding. Okay. Oh, okay. Majority of my friends don't really care about the marriage part. They're telling me I should rent and live with her first, yeah. before getting a house together. That's Hell true. yes. Do you guys think living together for the first time will have any effects on us being newly married? Yes. And yes. ish. Well, he's trying to say is. Trying to get you to build a house. And is her parents. <laughs> I thought so too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And ish her parents. No, he's saying is. Okay. And is her parents. Are her parents. Are. And is her parents are giving her land. If. If. If, if, if it goes bad. If her parents. Okay. If her parents. And if her parents are giving her land, if it goes bad, does she have the upper hand in any way? Yeah. Yes. No, she don't. I'm sending this to Ish. Oh, well. no. Okay. I don't know. Um, One, I, I don't think that anybody should get married to anybody that they haven't lived with independently. I just think agreed. That. I agree. Mm-hmm. That. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree with that. Full heart. Because again, y'all relationship is still a little. Even if y'all live together, it's still not the same as if y'all live together independently away from her parents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Y'all ain't argued over no bills yet. That's mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, and then with regards to the land, no. When you build on the land, you just got to get them to deed the land over to y'all. You and the husband and the wife, and then that's y'all land. It ain't their land. We we'll give a fuck what where it came from. Once you put the house on it and you deed it over, the house is in your name and your wife's name. That's y'all shit. Okay. Okay. So that, that do part. that. Do that though, um, as a precaution to protect yourself, just in case y'all do split up. Then that's y'all shit. It ain't her parents' land. The house ain't in her parents' name. But yeah. Okay. Howard, I, I agree. That, I hope that anybody was disagree. Yeah, I agree. Like anybody no, no, disagree. No. 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 That, yeah, no, no I think you, I think you quite summed that one up. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that helped, Howard Craig. <laughs> yeah, fools. Leave <laughs> Howard alone, man. Yeah, to, that's the name of the episode. <laughs> no, man, you can't do that. Howard Craig. Let me see something. Yeah, this nigga here, bro. Oh man, this before we y'all, before y'all, before we do hey, sleepers. Flip. Look at Flip. Oh shit, that's my man right there. Flip won't fuck you up for that. Nah, that's my nigga. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you dialed has been changed. Dis- Motherfucker. Nigga changed his number. <laughs> Not somebody else. Oh. Uh, I'm, about to say, I'm trying to what? call I'm trying to call Jid so I could see how he feels I'm curious about, about this his rapidy rapping rappy rappy song being used the for bitches to them. just shake ass with their phone on the ceiling. That's yeah. By the way. I, I love that challenge, by the it's way. It's a great challenge. It is an amazing I love challenge. The, I love I the challenge, the music, too. I enjoy the music. I enjoy the ass. Yeah. It's Chicks a don't have win. nothing better to do. They won't even clean the bathroom. They just <laughs> dance around in there. Well, I saw one chick in the kitchen, and she had like a pillowcase up as a curtain. Like, I was like, yo, are you, you need help? Are you yeah, in the bed, though? I got some tennis that got the sheets up in the curtains. <laughs> See, how could he be an elitist? <laughs> Chill out, Ice. Ow. I'm defending him. I know. That's what Chill I'm saying. Ice. Yeah, yeah. No, my fault. Yeah, don't do but I'm just saying, though, you should, like, you know, before you cut the camera on, maybe get that molding right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to find <laughs> a song. Like, maybe this is not the room. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I need to tidy up before I get <laughs> yeah, to twerking. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twerk with that mop, Dodo. <laughs> Hey, the- <laughs> this thing was crazy, bro. You right, Parks? Yeah. Yeah, I just thought about it. Yeah, you're right. No, you're right. Don't worry about it. 
It's all right. Leave it alone. Yep. Yeah. What? Um, they don't have to clean up. No, they don't. It's fine. <laughs> they don't really pay attention to pop that thing. Yeah. And you the horniest, yo. And the chicks who houses. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That part too. Do 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 do. Oh, right. Most well manicured of houses. Let's be real. Get it in with that bed that be on the floor. That be that good All leverage. All the leverage. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't going nowhere. I'm right here. I'm just, uh, oh, yeah, that's when you was fucking that WNBA player, bitch. <laughs> that's when you was fucking Shorty with the Caesar, remember? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? She, had to, she had to ask Girl Season. Yo, remember? Yes, <laughs> remember the chick? Taller than you, too. Y'all, y'all came through stomping. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, on a, on a bed on, on the air floor. <laughs> yeah, he's nasty. Yo. Yo. yo, guess who was listening by the door? Joe Button. <laughs> oh, that's his dad. Joe Button. That's his nigga. That no secret. <laughs> if you fuck anywhere around Joe, he's going to be by the door. That's a fact. That is a fact. Yo, so, Joe, Joe Budden. who don't know that though? Uh, that, that every, I think that. everybody in here knows that. Hell yeah! If, if you if there's some fucking going on in here, around <laughs> right there. <laughs> Few times in the old house, the Corey the only nigga, nigga I ain't catch. Few times I had my ear to the door, I pushed it open. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed that shit open. <laughs> that nigga wasn't in there. That nigga was like a, a magician. <laughs> Where that nigga went with that bitch? <laughs> now you gotta run around the old house. <laughs> trying to find a motherfucker somewhere. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta get it. It's too quiet in there. Open crazy. up. What's wrong with you? Open up, nigga. <laughs> Oh, man. No matter like, where you was at. Here. All right, let's here. see. Uh, I see you took the gender wars on the road. Took the the your relationship with a woman whose sex was just okay. It was okay. It was just okay. It wasn't paying. I've had way better. I'm not with you. I'm not in love with you based on your. <laughs> You can't help yourself. No, oh, you can't help yourself. You're getting a headache too. Look. Why? Why? Crazy. Why? But I think your heart is that, amazing. That ain't gonna be your husband. I think your heart. That is ain't gonna be your husband. Why? Why? That's how y'all discount me. No, not, no, 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 no. You started a reality show. No, I'm just saying. It's just for taking the gender war part on the road. She has qualities, and the poom poom is good. Y'all get a little bit. I think what he's saying, I I agree with. It don't have to be. Don't come from. It doesn't. I'm saying it does, but. But that intimacy is what the thing, yo, girl. If you <laughs> listen, you're marrying. I, I'm not married. I've never been married, but I've dated someone for a very long time with. Yo, why you don't let us know like, when you make these appearances? Yeah, okay. I want to yeah, know. know. Most yeah. fucking is cool. When you did, you Most did this. Uh -oh. good, contrary to women's popular belief, no fucking is a. He has said that here. Most pussies are. I know what he's taking that little controversial line on the road. <laughs> He trying to stir it up out there. He telling bitches to their face. Yo, your shit is a savage. <laughs> Yo, you better be careful. What's wrong with you? You better be careful. You need executive protection. <laughs> you better stop. I might have. You better chill out. I might have needed Shout out to self, man. Y'all better relax. Shout they, was about to, they was about to tear y'all niggas up, boy. So All right, let's see, man. Pay John B, yo. Give him his money, man. Some <laughs> That shit kind of made me not like him, yo. I ain't want to like him, yo, after that. <laughs> yo, hopefully y'all enjoyed this podcast as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Uh-oh, they singing along out there. Somebody told me. Hey. Come on, don't act like we a young podcast. We old. Come on. We never talk a <laughs> lot when we spend time alone. Hey. I'm supposed to know. I'll outro the pod after the uh, after the first hook. We jamming. We got a fact to communicate. It builds a happy home. And no one. That's right, y'all. Loves it like me. Sing that shit out there. No one but y'all. As the kind of rip a pillow to me. Keep on whipping on me. In the video, they was like, that was my shit back in the day. What? Nobody, nobody saw the video but you. I know. It's all right. You, you <laughs> did, though. Yo, you be acting like you 27. Uh, this nigga swear he is spring chicken, yo. Leave me alone. Nigga, you old goose. <laughs> yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. And also...
that's right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what Anita Baker was talking about. <laughs> Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And lastly, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant women want to travel, and the closed-minded women want you to teach them things, grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. Sing along out there. Hey! Yes, sir. Y'all hold it down, man. We'll be back next week. Same time, same place. You know the vibes. Anybody got any good weekend plans coming up? We're going to see Martin Luther King at the opera. Who at the opera next? <laughs> I'm definitely going to that. Huh? I'm definitely going to go. Melissa, find a man. Fuck you. Like, stop doing, <laughs> stop. Why she like, can't go to the opera and be stop. single? I'm going to go to the originals party tonight. Oh. What's wrong with you, Art? Uh? <laughs> Find a man. You can't go to the opera and be dolo? Who you going with? <laughs> Who you going with tomorrow? Who's the king of the opera? <laughs> It will probably be very difficult for me to find a guy that wants to go to that. So it's I probably true. will. Okay. Well, hey, you want? True. You know somebody? You want that will go to the opera with Melissa Watch Ford. Yourself. Mm -hmm. Watch yourself now. Okay. Right, you want to? I mean, you know somebody? Ian, you want to go with me? My girl Mel. Ian will go anywhere with you. Shut Ian up. Go. Yeah, go. You want to? I mean, you know anybody that would be able to? <laughs> probably be really tough. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga so stupid Yo we gone man Y'all hold it down Stay away from bitches That order their steak Well done yo <laughs> They don't deserve you For shake, sure Shake the table When they yeah. cut sure. <laughs> <laughs> She be like You cutting down The Christmas tree <laughs> <laughs> For real Love yourself A little more than that <laughs> Shout out to Ice Wherever he is <laughs> Fuck out. it <laughs> Nigga just <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing about a strict workplace. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a Nita Baker, I'd freestyle over this shit. <laughs> send some, I'd, send, I'd send some fucking bars, baby face way. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> we're ahead of y'all. <laughs> and have been. JBP. JBP, where would you be without the JBP? New Joe Biden.